Why did I think I got a lot to me? Uh, the closer I can be a lot. Tumuli, where you at? So, God, we lie. I can't hear no sound. Okay, we're here. All right, so we try to tell best we can uh, linger with for the team. Uh, right here for you on uh, the program uh, tonight. Uh, the person that came in. Uh, uh, Peabody is, uh, is already waiting. I see my uh, uh, Chief Tamali is trying to come on. Uh, so let's see what we can bring that on from our end. Okay. You can hear me, right? Okay. Uh, some folks are hearing me. Uh, Christian Roberts. Uh, are you guys getting us? Yes, I can hear you guys very clear. Yeah, we're not get we're not getting we're not getting the audio from all yeah. Let me check this out. So um I'm here uh, tonight alongside for uh with Fort Heron. My name is Ansu. So uh yeah, I'm here alongside for Heron. It's a very tight team here. So uh, we are yeah uh together tonight on uh the pros and argument here. Yeah. So we we are trying to see how best we can uh, get audio. Um, we're not really getting the sound out from the team, all right? So, yeah, we, we can hear you guys, except you guys are not hearing us here, but I mean, we can hear you clear. Um, you know, I linger with the guys as a wait on us to bring them mm -hmm. on the program right here tonight. So, let's see. Okay, Christian Roberts is hearing us. Well, I want to get them on. The you guys are coming. hearing us so, yeah so once i mean we're still waiting they're still trying to make the adjustment you know the internet issue yes, and all, of that. all right uh, so uh, how are you you can hear me how we um uh, while we are trying our best to see our best we can like, get the guys show because uh they are on but we're not getting audio so we'll go for a break while my technician oh uh, yeah check uh my sound system okay Well, if you, so guys, just stay tuned. We'll be with you. Just stay tuned. Uh, 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 I know the guys are still adjusting this set. Uh, it's a lot going on, but just stay tuned. Uh, we'll be with you shortly. We'd like to welcome everybody, man. They still adjusting sound, so we. I mean, if you're watching, just sit sit tight. Uh, 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 I'll just go. If you can hear me, just say you hear me. If you can hear me, just write in uh, just on the live feed, just so you can hear me. Uh, 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 Christian Roberts sitting here live. Big Smoke God, Goddy Williams. I'm watching from Sydney, Australia. Wow, man. Great time, great. Thank you for watching us, buddy. Edwin Swa. Uh, we need to check. Say good afternoon from my end. That's a good thing. He's hearing. If you can watch it, he's hearing. Well, uh, well, uh, yeah, watching. So, guys. Yeah, I'm not really getting the audio. Yeah. So, guys, this is tight. We're we'll soon be coming back on. The audio. So, uh, You know, this happens sometimes, you know. So uh, let's see whether it can come to uh, the audio. Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, Peabody, are you getting me? Very clear, very clear, very clear. Okay. So now, uh, yeah, so uh, we're getting audio for our end now. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, yeah we're getting audio for our end now. Thanks to, uh, thanks to all the team. Uh, thanks to Heron. Hello, and Heron and I are now are going to be running uh uh it for our in here for in the main city uh 25 fm 
uh, many thanks to our technician. Thanks to hearing the rest of the guys. Uh, so as I said, folks, uh, uh, it is at a closing argument. So it's time now to cross over to the team and uh, enjoy uh, uh, hearing Peabody and the rest of the guys that are being here to close an argument here on Truth FM. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, man. You guys are doing a great job. We appreciate it a whole lot of the work that you guys do. Uh, uh, Tumuli is joining us, uh, and we're looking forward to continuing the show. But you guys are, you guys are amazing. We want to want to thank you guys for continuing to bring the, the the message to the Liberian people. We'd like to welcome all our all our, our our viewers from 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 far and near, as far as Sydney, Australia. You know, Edwin Kura is here. James Kaete is watching. Yamtra Kringa is watching. Yamtra Kringa is watching. Miss Yamtra Kringa is watching from Minnesota. Tom Thompson Balls, yes, from all the way Sydney, Australia. And Michelle Dayu, Dayu from Minnesota. Thank you, guys. Uh, we'd like to welcome you. You know, we're just coming on, so we ask that you, you just share this. Look, one great way you can make this show more popular as it is getting is to share it in your share it and you know if you're in a group chat you know, just put it right there that's what i do i place it in a lot of group chat and a lot of people watch it thousands of people watching from all over over the world watching the closing document we'd like to welcome you guys my friend who would like to welcome everybody uh mr sata dawson from maryland usa welcome asata mcdonald gadier uh welcome uh, uh everybody Tonight, we're looking forward to the very exciting, exciting show. Lots going on. The governor released a budget. They had made a whole video on the budget, what they cut down and what they added it to. You know, what was cut, what was increased. We want to have a team of panelists here tonight to cite everything when it comes to the budget. But we would like to welcome you guys. And also, uh, there's a there's a team, Liberia, that is representing the country in uh to the All African Games in uh, 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 Ghana, Accra, Ghana, and I understand it's been amazing. It's been amazing. The Liberia team is uh, 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 is 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 doing an awesome job. Awesome job they are doing, and uh, uh, we like to to congratulate Team uh, USA. They they are representing Liberia. I believe the men is they gone up to the four hundred meters. They gone to the finals of uh, the four hundred meters. So that is a major, major, major uh, uh, achievement for, for the Liberian team. We are very, very excited for those young people who are representing the country and they are flying the flag of Liberia. That is amazing. And I would like to congratulate all the great people on that team. But yes, it's a lot happening. Uh, just continue to uh, 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 share the, 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 the video, just continue to share. It's a lot happening today uh, in Liberia. The government has released a budget. They have cut down even up to the president's salary. I mean, the president budget, a lot. The speaker budget, a lot was cut. So what is in there to, to for the Liberian people? What is in there for civil servant? What civil servant salary increase? What is in there for? We're going to break it down tonight. Our team will be with us shortly. So we, we just want to welcome you guys. Let me see what I can uh call some names again i see miss uh, uh winifred smith is also joining us as well from maryland you know uh, uh i'm just gonna go back over the list and just recognize you because you guys are very important people so we we like to recognize you uh christian roberts uh big smoke good god day williams uh from australia edwin swa say good evening from my end uh miss yamtra kringa watching from minnesota uh, Christian Roberts is also watching. Wale Wale is also watching. Uh, Wise, Jigwe Wise is watching as well. Welcome, guys. Uh, Edwin Crow, uh, big friend, our big brother, is watching from all the way to Delaware. Uh, James Carete, one of our friends, he, he follows us where we, everywhere we go, and we, we love you, Jim. We appreciate you. Uh, Thompson Boss, uh, good to see you. Michelle Dow. Good to see you as well. McDonald Gadie, good to see you. I'm watching from, from all the way in talking, my brother. Good to see you, McDonough. Uh hey, I think we hooked up the last time I was there, man. Good guy. Uh Anna Tiller. Uh he's watching from the Michigan USA. And uh Elizabeth Bawan is watching as well. Uh you know, Winnie Freshman, that you sure 
and the rest. So, guys, welcome to the closing argument. Guys, I mean, what what's going on with Ray? You, you care to share? Share with <coughs> us what's going on. You guys are in the studio, so why not share with us what's going on? Yeah. So, um, uh, the what you the what you say, you talk about uh, the budget aspect. Um, is it um uh, the training uh topping on for uh the pies uh, uh for the past I think all day now or uh, hours now so uh you know point of discussion and in every quarters and you you twist and turn here we have the viewers uh, uh discussing uh, the budget uh especially um uh, to some area which were caught and uh, some area which in terms of uh, the increment to also been discussed. And uh, uh, late yesterday afternoon, um, a member of uh, the uh, the coalition who was on a, a, um, one of our sister program, not, not our sister program, our sister radio station in town, uh, that's uh, Freedom FM, um, in terms of uh, the former uh, commission there for Maritime. Let's use him now. We talk about the the EPS, the Executive Protective Service, says in talk about them, and then uh, in a very short time they release a very strong uh, press statement. Uh, indeed, well, uh, the Executive Protective Service, the EPS, has broken silent on the recent, you know, it, it, it was training in media on the former yeah. president protection. Uh, okay. So that yeah, so that they, they came up with a very strong press uh, press statement now. It tends mm -hmm. about uh, it's not you know it's not composed with it tends it's not something about law where uh, when it comes to, when it comes to provide um uh, security uh to uh uh the former the former presidents uh indeed but they have they have provided security for uh the former president that we are so uh mm -hmm. they came up with a very strong uh press statement and mm -hmm. trying to uh, i think they were trying to uh uh either maybe condemn uh the statement from the then Eugene language because he was on uh another radio uh freedom fm yesterday when he talked about it uh, uh when it comes to the former president protection where he really pressed on it he said how uh, the uh the security system already i think very reluctant on it and uh they were waiting up to uh the the end of this month uh if they cannot see any quick reaction in terms of a uh, uh, security a uh, well-built security team to uh, the former president, meaning that they were going to, uh, 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 in terms of uh, providing their own security, mm -hmm. uh, either uh, yeah, Liberians or the party scene uh, for the CDC, they were going to protect uh, the former president. So the EPS uh, spokesperson, Philip Moore, addressed concern uh, raised by politicians and journalists, clarifying that there is no legal provision uh, for EPS to provide bodyguards for uh, former president and vice president. Uh, yeah, he also uh, commented on the termination of uh, EPS agents uh, due to prolonged absence from work. As uh, someone who was signed with uh, the former uh, uh, VIP, that is a uh, vice president and president, but right after the uh, transitional time, I think someone left the country, uh, they traveled. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so up to this time, they haven't returned yet, and <laughs> no one knows whether they will come back. So, um, wow. yeah, they went through the system inside of buses. Uh, we cannot get the guys back they're not coming back to work uh so uh, their contract also have been uh, terminated by uh, the government so oh, wow. it's just some of the the training issues on the ground and the budget too came into it uh you know so as i said every quarters you twist and turn you have the viewers gallery now uh the motorcyclists uh the general balls <laughs> into the market area uh the guys into the attire uh, shops and other stuff now they're discussing it now uh, the, uh when it comes to the budget aspect but one thing that um eugene said yesterday i think he said that uh it, it, it's, it's almost like uh maybe a uh, copy and piece or what so you were saying you were, were saying that now there's few things that were just uh, you know uh the wish of this government just did in this in the current budget there's just few things that did uh either they just added some things uh subtracted some things but that's the same format and that's the same uh uh a style from the uh, the uh, the former uh, uh finance minister that uh, is a summer toy wow that's interesting there's a lot happening but as i said the team will be here soon and everybody will get into that discussion but too many george is here welcome brother too many george good to see you yeah yes guys uh good to be back and 
on the closing argument, uh, like you said, a lot's a lot's going on in the country. The the work administration finally submitted the draft budget to the legislature for 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 the approval. And already they they are already on. Um, I see the workout folks are already running with the budget and and showcasing it. But this is a lot is in the is in the pudding though. But for instance, uh, like you know, so but we'll be discussing it. I've been trying to get the former finance minister to 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 to, 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 to come. Uh, hopefully, he will respond, and we'll see what we can do. But uh. They, they, it, it would take the it would take the real financial people to come and get, break it down to, to the librarian people about this budget, and that I see the bugger folks are running are running with and already claiming victory on a, on the victory lap or what, but they're already moving on. But if you really look into the budget, you know that <clears throat> the people that people said. Uh, they cut down the, the budget for the presidency, which is, which is which is a good thing. The vice president, the speaker, the pro tem, the deputy speaker, the legislature was slashed. But the question is, if you look at the mantra the UP President Parker ran on, the question would be, what's what was increased was civil servants, nurses, teachers, police, and all I can tell you is all zero, zero, zero. Nothing was increased for them. So these are the people that they said they came to rescue. So, but they inc they just by the, uh, slashing the budget, you would think that they would say, well, civil servants will have increment in their salaries and nurses and teachers and police, but that's not the reality. But we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. Uh, so, but anyway, also, um, I know there have been a story about Central Bank, um, moving money in containers and so forth uh i got I, i've been on that case all day and uh, it's not true um uh, the last letter the 54th legislature approved the printing of new bank notes and what they did they, they printed some of the bank notes and 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 infused it in the economy prior to the election i mean before or during the we are administration i am the we are administration but they did not put all take all the money they printed they never put it brought into the country so during, the, during the, uh, the transitional period, they work along with the, the, the incoming administration. They were informed that they still have uh, bank notes out of the country that they were going to infuse, bring as soon as things settle down. So that was the same money that were approved by the last legislature. So that's why you saw it in the container. But it wasn't like secret container was coming to the country with money and so forth. I've been trying to, and I got all the documents to that effect. So I know that's how I kind of know that. That is is not in a clandestine operation. So, just to make that clarification. But uh, besides that, um, also the president I think he held his first National Security Council meeting today with all his top security fo uh, folks. The Justice Minister in the meeting. I think the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Defense, the Acting Defense Minister, and so forth. All the top security uh, institutions were represented in a meeting with the Security Council meeting. Well, it's good to always uh, hold this kind of a meeting and to keep to make sure you know where the country is, where the position of the country in terms of national security. But we, we're still trying to find out what outcome of that National Security Council meeting. Yes, and also, I know last night before we went to, to bed, we got information that there are plans by some of some people in less literature as i said i hope it is a rumor I hope it's not true but we've already seen it on in, in, in social on social media that some members of the legislature some colleagues of representative Kolubá are trying to expel him because he, he being blasting at the president and i think that would be foolhardy for any any member of the legislature to undertake such a and that such, such an initiative to try to expel representative Kolubá. Uh, I don't think it would be the right way. So I hope, hope is it is not true. Hope what we, what we are reading in the press is just mere Roma, and it's not true at all because it, it will not go down well. I can tell you for that. And also, like uh, things uh, uh, Ansu said, the former marathon boss Eugene Langbe, he was on one of the local radio station, 
and he was uh he came out fiery. Uh, they accused the Bug administration of trying to uh, assassinate President Weir uh, in his you know, on aircraft that were bringing him the other day and talk about a security issue. And what I gathered too was that even though the EPS gave President Weir security detail, but what it did, they gave <laughs> they gave older folks, aging EPS people. Most of the guys are about to retire. That, that was they assigned to the former president. And the former president said, nah, until he rejected it. You can't sign me old folks who come and protect me. And then uh, I don't know how you, who will be protected. So I think he rejected that. And that it makes sense because you don't want to. I mean, how you get somebody, older people to come protect the person? The, the, the older people send me protection. Most of the people are about to retire. So, you know. But um, yes, Eugene Nagbo will be coming, joining us. It will be, we will, will come. We will, will, he, he, he has agreed to come on the closing argument. We're just going to arrange a time and a date. And he will be able to double down on his, on his uh, interview. But uh, from my end, people, that's that's how far I think we have we've we we've gone right now. But let's see what happens. Uh, hopefully, see a lot, can I see a lot happening because uh, I'm more, I'm very interested in our budget. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I hear some things were taken off and some things were increased. But there are some areas that I was looking at that the, the, the civil servant salary did not go up. Uh, 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 it did not go up at all, and uh, some other things did not even happen. So I don't know exactly what's happening or what what folks are saying, but uh, it's very interesting, you know. And then also, as you relate to the president, the former president, uh, that he's not happy with the EPS that was given him. Uh, uh, they gave him a lot of uh, reti almost retiring uh, folks who should be retiring. Uh, he's not happy. I think when it comes to the security, even for myself, I would want people around me who I'm comfortable with, who I feel that I'm safe with. Not just anybody can come up, you know, to protect me. You know, I think even with the Secret Service in America, the the U.S. Got, the president will sometimes request about who he wants, and those people follow the president even after his term. The Secret Service are assigned to those people probably for the rest of their life and things like that, but. I don't know how the EPS work, but I think the president, he said, every former president, first president, uh, then Baca at the time as vice president, they have EPS assigned to him for his silly pass. And I think when it comes to that, I don't think politics need to be played around that. It's important that the president get the security that he needs. You know, when it comes to the politics, I don't think anything should be played around that. He's the former president of Liberia, and he should be treated with dignity and, and, and pride as well. Like in the how Phoebe Boga was treated, he had his entire EPS team that went with him everywhere. So I think it's very, very important. You know, the issue with, with Yeke, I think Liberian people just need to. I think the the, 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 the folks in the house need to just focus on what they need to do to help the, the people. They need to focus on what they would do to, to help the, the, the legislature, but you cannot uh, come out and say you're spelling like, like, uh what his name are Yeke have been the same. I would say yesterday and today, he's been the same. You know, <laughs> and criticizing the government making this comment. They all were there when, when Yeke would make comments about President Wea and say and some President Wea. Where were they at the time? They they employed, they were happy. You know, uh, I'm not saying it's right to to, to, to insult uh, 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 the president. Uh, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but we know this is Yeke and this is how he operates. Well, you want to expel somebody from the house because you expel somebody. I don't think it makes sense. I don't think they need to even focus on that. They need to focus on what are some of the, the things they ran on, on how they can help change or uh, better the lives of the Liberian people or the people in the district that they they ran on so profoundly, you know, that they would do this, they would do that. You know, they need to uh, 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 do that as well, but then sit there and, and Focus on things that are not even of any essence. It, it doesn't sit well with me. I think it's important that they focus on bringing results and bringing uh, uh, relief to the Liberian people. 
think that's that's what it should be focused on, not just sitting there and trying to to make that big mower spell you. That's not a focus right now to spell you. Okay? The focus now is to bring change and the need to learn from that. So, yeah. Yeah, Chris, welcome though. Welcome. Uh, Thank you, Tamari. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I good to see you, Chris. Good to see you. Good to see you. Where, Chris? Just money. I, I I was just saying thank you for welcoming me. Oh. And it's nice to be on the platform. Um, I would like to say thank you to all the the people that are watching, and all our librarian people that are committed to the platform and are here every day. Thank you all the time that we are on. Actually, thank you so much. Yes. But, uh, in the budget right uh as we we just we just get going and people come and join us president boy guy yes he did increase what, he, what i noticed in the budget my own observation is that he increased the wage bill that means he increased the the government payroll uh from 296.476 million dollars which is 38.4 percent of the budget to 297 uh, million dollars that's for the three percent of the budget. Now, okay, the United the UDP budgets they claim that they were total reduction of forty nine million dollars. They claim they, but now, but there's a total increase, increases or in my lot is twenty two million dollars. Okay, they they say they reduce about we notice an increment of twenty two million, and there's a difference of twenty seven million. The question is, where is the twenty seven million being applied? So, um, but one of the things you take a look at is the domestic debt and international obligations. Um, they have, it, it grew from 42 million and 10 million respectively. So, uh, the question needs to be asked. Yes, in the, in the reduction, this, yes, okay. The president, we have his budget was 20 million, but GMB says his budget now being decreased to 9 million. The vice president, former vice president was 4.4 million. Now the current vice president 2.2 million. Reduce it. The, uh, yeah. the former vice reduced from 4 million to, to 2 million. The less literature, that's where the, I know that where they're gonna have problems. The less they will fight, I know they will fight the executive because their budget was 67 million. They have now decreased to 38 million. So you know that it will be a fight. Because now they are the one who's gonna make appropriation with the, with the with this with the money. So you know that they won't accept this. They will fight, but let's see. Let's see what happens. We'll, we'll, we'll get our popcorn and, and watch them. What's what happened? The pro tem, the pro tem uh, used to get four million. Now it's reduced to one point two million. The speaker used to get two point two million. Now it's been, it's been reduced to one point six million. Okay, and then the deputy speaker used to get one million, but now they have given him five hundred and fifteen thousand. Now the increases. They increased ministry of education they, they, from 98 million to 105 million. University of Liberia, they increased from 30 million to 32 million. The agriculture, okay, which is part of the arrest agenda of President Boyka, they increased from 4 million to 5 million. That's a, a little bit having problem with that one too. And the health sector, 64 to 75. Now, all these things are all good things, yeah, the increment. But the question we're asking, Okay, like the question that I've been asked, increasing education budget is good, very good. I welcome it. Universal Liberia is the good. Health ministry, good. Okay, even the office of the president, the vice, all the things decreasing their budget is all good. But the money that you took, like when you took cut this money from these from these various or, or, or line, line item, where do you where you allocate it? You say you put it to education, to health, but then. What happened with civil servants? Because civil servants said the, the former government um, harmonized their pay. So they said they're going to increase their pay, but nothing there for civil servants. The nurses, nothing. Teachers, nothing. Police, nothing. But then they put most of the money on domestic debt. So that means if Grace, if, if Grace got, if the government owed Grace money, that so that I would be servicing that debt, that debt. So we owe Grace for renting one of our buildings. We owe grace for so and so thing will be paying paying grace money so they so the prioritizing paying domestic debt right now then taking care of the the brand butter issue in the country so you see and then the foreign obligation which is good 
we have an international obligation. We must come clean to, to, to come out to, to the middle of the areas. But a lot of questions will be asked. Yes. So, but guys, that's what we are. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Gwen, the education ministry, the budget, they used to get 98 million, but they increased it to 105 million. But you guys can weigh in. That's where we well, are so far. You know, there are some areas that, you know, I think you said that the wage bill will increase by what, $22 million? Is that what you said? Uh, uh, Tony, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. So you said the waste bill will increase by 22 million? The waste bill, okay, from 296.4 to 297. 297 increase it by about two two bill two million or something yeah. like that. it was it was 38 38 point four percent of the budget but now it's now 43 percent of the budget so most of the money is going on salaries and things you know wow wow uh 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 i think education i think the percentage for education and health i think it's small i mean to be honest you know but even agriculture from five million from four you get only one million agriculture yeah it's, well, it's, I think it's, it's not going to make a lot of difference, you know. I mean, increasing the wage bill, this money could have gone to the health sector. Our health sector is deplorable. I hope very much deplorable. Come, come and help us here tonight. Like that is, you know, yeah, break the maybe, maybe Professor Professor uh 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 Kennedy will come, but but Grace, can you imagine? Uh, Grace, uh, Grace, Wayne, what, what you think? Deplorable our health sector is, and, and you only adding that small amount of money to the health sector, the education, and you expect result? I don't know, Grace. Uh, 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 chime in on this. I, I, I just think that increasing the the wage bill, it means that maybe they have more employees added to the government. You know, employees, or they just made more people salary higher. Um, than it was. That's the reason why they increased the, the wage bill. Because as we see that Waka government hire more people compared to President Wea government. That's why I, I'm, I'm noticing now. So maybe that's the reason why they increased uh, the, the wage bill to maybe for employee salaries and benefit for the employee. But it's, it's going to affect the country in a way, although the spending would be good because of that, but there will be inflation in the country because they increased the wage, wage, wage bill is not managed properly. So um, what I want to say is that they could allocate some of those money to go to maybe the entertainment industry because you have to find a way to make more money in the country. It's just paying people salaries all the time and giving the government employment benefits. It's not going to help the, 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 the economy. It's not going to help the economy. So what strategy are, do they have in place? Or, you know, I, I let Professor Kennedy come because I, I'm not a budget person, but just from a layman point of view, from budgeting your hustle, what strategy do they have in place to actually increase uh, 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 more money, like making money in the country for, for the, the regular people to be able to survive at this point in time? Because the budget is just set up to benefit the government employees, especially those in higher position by increasing the wage, wage bill. That's why you see most of our government officials, they come to America five, six times a year because they make so much money. But what other things in this budget that they have there that would benefit maybe the, 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 the it could benefit the private sector too. It can benefit, which is the entertainment industry, maybe uh, uh, the guy that West Point area. One day I was standing in the finance ministry and I was looking down into West Point area from one of the big government official office, you know, doing business with them doing, uh, I think Ellen Johnson said it time. And the, the place looks so beautiful, but everything there rusty, old. And I was thinking, I was like, I don't know why they can't invest into that. You know, make that place a beautiful area. The island is there. So more people, when they come to Liberia, they will be what, it, it, it will be under the government. It will be, they, they will be running those places. They'll be able to, to pump more money into that to help the, 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 the economy to really boom up instead of just always, the whole library, the, the, the government always about just the, the wage bill, the employees making money, and you know, they go to work, the better can go to work, they, they, they leave at 12. And it's just that that's how the government be running from time to time. Balancelli, uh time, it was a little bit different, a little bit, there was this hope there 
but then it all shambles again. And then now we come to Barack Obama. We're not seeing anything ready to you know, put in place at this point in time for us to even check on the amount of uh, 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 the effort that he has put in in a few days, uh, in, a, in a few weeks that he has been president already. So it's not looking good for Liberia. Seriously, the budget is so depressing. I can't, the, build, the budget is so big. You can't even finish reading it, you know, or, or, or increasing their wage bill. We, 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 it will help them to have consumer spending in the country, but in the long run, it will, it, there will be higher taxes, inflation, if it's, they're not managed carefully. And, and, and when I say that, I just want about that that the Kennedy will come in, and Mr. Kennedy, I mean uh, Professor Kennedy will come in, yeah. clarify because that's how I feel. That's how I feel it comes to that. So it's not looking promising for for the government and the people for the next few years to come. These people need to go back to the drawing board and sit and get professional people who can actually do this work to really lead them into promoting and, and, and helping our economy and helping the country. To move forward, because it's apparent now to us that uh, uh, that the people did that these people really don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, you know the thing is, um, one thing that uh, Professor, Professor Kennedy said he's going he he will be with us in the next twenty minutes. But one thing is that, and we what we notice is that the first thing you understand, and this 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 has been the the trend in Liberia. It's not only this government, all most of the all, all the government have done it. NSA, NSA is that's where they usually do all the lead, all the team, all the lead, because you cannot audit NSA, you cannot because they have a covert operation that they do. You can't find out where the money going. So if, if you notice, President Boyga ordered uh he, he he requested the audit NSA, but then last week he issued a statement said no more audit NSA, they cut it off right away. NSA have been cut off. Oh yes, no other the NSA. They cut it off. They stopped other the NSA. They cut it off. Oh, but did they didn't say why? Because but you can just go. but look at NSA budget. You see, you see how much they put that for NSA. I think eleven million dollars. Check NSA budget. I think. Why are they paying a bit to buy the money? and money sell. That's why people gotta be people gotta open their eyes. Look, like I said earlier, let me let me let me be clear. Cutting the president budget from twenty million to nine million, fine, no problem. It's good. We we, we welcome it. The vice president, the speaker, the devil speaker, all the people, good. But the money, the cut that you did, that, 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 the cut that, that was done, you should put in a prioritizing, put in, put more money into education, health, agriculture, fine. But then also to the civil servant, the, the, like the teachers, the nurses, the doctors, the police, the, the people that go to work every day, put, put the most of them. Put the money in 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 in, 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 in I mean towards the the, 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 the the pay, but nothing zero civil servants zero nurses zero teachers zero police zero. So, but you 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 took the most of the money you cut in, put it in domestic debt. That means you come you come pay your friends then. Yes. If, if, if I want to do who supported you, and you say okay, I supported your 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 doing a campaign. Government owe me money, oh, so you pay my money now. Like like domestic debt, yep. you start paying. Yes. Yeah. My question is, Tomali, in, in, in this, the, the president ran his campaign on agriculture, agriculture, agriculture. You, 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 you remember? That's yeah. why he ran his campaign on because he said that that's his area, you know, of expertise and everything. And then for them to leave agriculture all and yeah. then agriculture was four million. You only put one, one, one million there. You make it five million. You need yeah. to million. Yeah. And safety and, and security is so important in the country. For any country, for, for you to have investors into that country, you have to make sure the police are ready. That's what you were talking about. The police is, you know, the, 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 that sector of the government. Look at what police officers are working with, with dirty uniform on. They're not, they don't do recertification at all. They don't have any training going on, no preparedness for, for them to be able to tackle or, 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 or maybe, you know, when something happened in the country so they can be hands on on it, like the way they beat that all day. They were not even hands on it. There is no investigation at this point except I don't know. So all those things, because they're left behind, they don't have enough money in the budget to help the, 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 the people in, the, in in that sector. And this, this is really just is bad for the country because if people are seeing that the country is not safe, most people would not want to come home to invest into the country. A lot of people like in the diaspora, 
they have money they want to go to like to invest first thing is the thing about the safety okay when i go there is everything okay when something happens if i call the police maybe 911 will they be able to come how can they come most of the police officers are not trained and we 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 in most time in, in every uh, government sector you work in the world they do training and, and, and every 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 six months they retrain your or most of the police officers are supposed to be even recertified means that they're going for training they will recertify them in different different areas of what they are doing within that police uh, 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 department so they can be ready their uniforms of the police is not even looking good and most of them they were not really trained to handle situation with all shooting somebody and killing them and or beating them up because there's so many ways the police can come in and, and, and interview you and talk to you when something happened that you'll be able to open up the, so we, we need all those things to happen if you're not putting more money from the budget in those areas how our people will be able to get trained and be able to help the country in in that light and that's my question and that's a that's a very good point but yeah you said the money you are cutting and picking from the president the speaker other places why why are they going why is the money going you're not cutting it to bring relief but you're cutting it to put it somewhere and plus if you increase the wage bill and you hire more people it means you know the the, the partisans who are there or the partisans as i call them you're giving them a a a, a, a job you're creating that that opportunity there putting that money to give them job and the domestic debt it would be that they have credit from a lot of people during the election they, they they put it in that area so they can pay them back and all of that so so i mean it's a lot that is uh uh going on but i'm disappointed that the health care of our country health care should be even up to 200 uh, up to 250 million dollars the health care of our country because we know our health care is it's a complete mess people die in that country for, for even curable curable diseases uh illnesses and stuff like that people die and and you cannot uh, uh, uh the budget the agriculture ministry that should be really opening the door to to food and other things helping liberia grow their own rice and other uh stuff you you you, you did not even add enough money there our agriculture sector is very, can you imagine we go to a dinner to buy things like pepper and stuff like that you know we don't have it you know rice we can't even grow our own rice in our country so so you know what 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 else would be going on we can't even grow our rice we can't even grow certain commodities in the country so it's 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 it's, it's, it's very sad it's really really sad you know uh, uh on the budget you know I, I applaud the fact that you cut down from the president down to the, the speaker the deputy speaker pro tem and all of that I, I applaud the fact that you, you cut down but did the money go to key areas that we needed we desperately needed nobody tell me that we don't need money in our healthcare sector we saw how people die nobody tell me that we don't need money for uh security or our education you saw how you see how the university of Liberia, uh the, even the high school go to one of the the, the, the best high school the, the, the public high school in our country it used to be Tuttman High School. But go to Tuttman High School today and see the kind of condition that the, the children have to learn on it. I, I visited Tuttman High School once, a beautiful place where it was even, uh, I used to call it a technical high school. I didn't go to Tuttman High, but I, I used to see what they offer a bunch of courses. Very good school. And go see what Tuttman High turned into today. You know, it had turned into a complete, uh, uh, I hate to say mess, but it's not good. And, our primary secondary education is very bad very bad in our country you know and they should have invested more money in there education health and, and you know uh, uh the police you know emrick emrick benson nico jr i sent the link if you get chance scott pepper make some sense with this budget please that's your area of expertise uh so come help make some sense but look but the fight we should watch it is the lot the lesson literature they cut the budget from 60 let me see yeah from they cut the, the, the budget from yeah i think from from 68 to 37 million they cut it a big slice for them okay now they cut the budget but now what i'm hearing now unless the, the lawmakers are saying that 
they are trying to they, they are what they're gonna they want to do they want to put every county should be given five hundred thousand dollars for 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 developmental purposes what? So, yeah it's a good idea right but the only thing is that if because if you allocate five hundred thousand for every county that about seven point five million dollars for the counties but they shouldn't put it in lawmakers their hand to say oh the caucus should go and decide what happened to the money that money should be put forward to the to the county they get a county the, the children and, and, and the and the county and the citizens of the county they can meet and they can have that a meeting and say look we have five hundred thousand in this budget for 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 the, for the county what is your way and pleasure what, what would you do with the money you'll, you'll come to that understanding but you you shouldn't put that money and say oh county let the caucus because all you find out they will take that money and get divided among themselves and say they carry on their own project they won't say i can't project in my district i can't project anyone you know yeah majority of them not all of them because i can tell you for a fact um uh musa Bede is far ahead of them he he already doing projects but even before budget come to him said he already kept on projects yeah he already the, the bridge that he even constructed that that place been cut off from liberia from 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 nima from for almost 50 years but i, I visited that place now he has put a bridge there now poking down drive on it instead of taking that one old or uh, one old stuff they had there where you got to pull it before they you carry across but musa and i made a place accessible you can drive there now and link the link that area together so he's far ahead of them but most of these people now they fight watch the fight because the reason why the, the legislature have been so attractive everybody want to run for to be a lawmaker because of the perks they, they, they've been getting over the years so now by then cutting cutting the money in half you know they're going to fight they're going to fight they're going to fight that well, the, the, so for the people why would they be fighting the president did the right thing to cut the money in half because they are not been doing anything substantial that people have seen in these different districts and nothing there i mean it's that, and that's why uh, 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 that the people that were seeing, especially when it comes to the healthcare care sector and um, maybe the education, because the, the foundation, the foundation, the education that we got from Liberia, our foundation was strong. Look at he was talking about the elementary, the, about the government school, this is the demonstration. People came from that school, you know, people that went to demonstration schools, some of them right now in this country, they are engineer doctors because that foundation was strong. So it, it gave them the weight to be able to study and you know and show themselves approved as the bible say and be able to graduate with all these high degrees in america and working in good places so the thing is that i don't understand why the legislature are so if they, if they will fight why would it, would it be upset you know they went there to 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 make the, the, the country great they went there to pass law and, and better the, the nation they did not go there so much about the money that legislature never even had money before People were there and they were still making good laws for the country and everything. So right now, I don't think they should have a problem with it. I think the president, they are cool. I think he should have cut it into 25%. Sir. I don't know why he just cut it into half. He should have made it even lower than that. Because uh, they, they use that place now to go and make money, share, you know, build big houses, or uh, 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 send their children to good schools while the other people's children suffer. And, and it was to travel out of the country when they're sick. That's why they don't have time to even make sure that the, the cleaners that in the in the different district are effective the, the nurses there are trained they're not making sure none of those things they just said they collect the money and, and, and share among themselves and they, they need to change so i applaud president Walker for that look look, look at where well, the chairman yeah Ch the chairman then i heard the chairman all of them part of the the they all have to push the budget <laughs> but good every good and semester period all, the, all these guys are here tonight it will help them make sense sense of this budget so yeah, I want to welcome you guys again, man. Uh, uh, Chairman, we've been talking offline since since the last twenty four hours. So I know, I mean, you can share your thoughts with like with the librarian people. Emric, thank thank God, yeah, man. Uh, that's what you went to school for to, to play with numbers. So yeah, I hope I made sense instead of the numbers. And so there's a PW policy, man. You guys help me make sense with the numbers. So guys, you guys can weigh in, man. So we go first. Do I go first? Oh. No, Chairman. Chairman, you go first. I, I we don't want to be here content. Hello, <laughs> guy. <laughs> well, first of all, it's good to be here. Sorry, you know I'm still trying to get used to this 
hybrid work model. Uh, you know, when you work from when you've been working remote, and then they, they come with a hybrid foolishness. Well, it's not foolishness. That means that means I say that. Uh, so yeah, you gotta try to get adjusted. But listen, guys, the, the, the budget is out. I think like we really said, Tommy, we've been holding uh, consultations and talk, talking about this. Um, uh, listen, I my my initial reaction to the budget when I when I saw the because I see anything that you see the other side, uh, you know, the government side is it immediately in spin mode. It means the devil, the devil is in the details, and 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 they're it's almost like they have a acceleration. They're they're accelerating. They are at a huge speed because they know when people dig deeper into the budget, uh, there all these questions will start to will start to arise. So what they're doing is they're doing what they do best, right? What they 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 obviously believe the Liberian people first of all. Liberians, we don't like to read. At least a, a good bit of us don't like to read. They say when you want to hire something from Liberian men or most Liberian men or Liberian per, a Liberian person, many many Liberians, just write it down. Put it put it in a book or something, or write it write it in in uh, put a lot of documents together. You 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 can definitely be rest assured that it's not you you're not gonna they're not gonna be able to see it. So I think the devils the devil is in the details here. Uh, I hear you talked about the reduction of the president's uh, budget. All of these things, yes, th that's what we call the optics of of, of it. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're trying to play to the optics of it. But the fundamental question, I think you guys asked that question earlier. Peabody asked it, you asked it, I think Grace asked it. Where are the cuts going, right? Uh, the other thing that we don't, we're not taking into consideration here, this budget is only about 67 million more than the are budget. And, and there are several things that was in the last We Are budget that no longer exist today. Example, 2023, we had an election. There was close to, what, 50-something million dollars that was spent on the national elections? Where is that 50-something million? Where is it? Where, where, where has it gone? Where did they reappropriate that 50-something million? One of the things that President Boyka ran heavily on, and I was looking to see, I didn't want to say anything because if I had said something, I knew they were going to do, run it last minute to turn to chunk in there. I don't see anything in regards to the fight against drugs. I don't see anything. I don't see a task force. I know he set up a committee, but I do see $1.5 million in the budget for asset recovery. Asset recovery, which by the way, can be carried out by the LSCC, which is a statutory, uh, 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 it's a statutory arm of the like, functionary of the Liberian government. I don't see anything when it comes to the issue of fighting drugs. We made a lot of noise in the last year or so about Kush. Have Kush gone? It, what, have anybody? Do we talk about Kush anymore? Or oh, all of a sudden, the Joe Biden became president and the Kush left the country? Is that is that what has happened? For election. So. Okay, so where are those videos? Maybe we need to find those videos of those of those young men walking around like zombies because they, it was part of their campaign. Where is the look? They say, show me what the, the, I think Joe Biden said it. Show me your budget. I'll show you uh, 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 your priorities. You tell, you tell tell me your priorities, right? Look, I think this budget is a joke. <laughs> Long story short, it's a joke. It's a big joke to me because you know why? It's a continuation of what we have consistently done, and then we're expecting another result. So if you take 10 million or 20 million, the, president, the Ministry of State was 20, 20 million. They brought it down to 9 million, right? Where did that money go? By the way, I have not heard, and I stand to be corrected, I have not heard of one increment when it comes to silver seven salary. Oh, I haven't seen, is this a, is this a project or a program-based budget? Or are we back? To just paying people to go to, to ministries and play Zumba. Is that what we're about to do? Then what was all this noise about? Well, so I and, and I know this is just my opening, but but I am I'm reading this budget, I'm going through it, I'm looking at certain lines, and I see zero, 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 zero. I see all of these things are optical. It's just for the optics. But you go to NSA, like you said, Tommy, I think it's like 10 or 15 million. 11 million, EPS, 8 million. EPS 8 million. Uh, 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 so I am saying 
Okay, I'm saying when you ran your campaign, you beat up on the CDC for her budget, given the Liberian people bought your message, or at least the 17,000 more Liberians who went to the polls bought your message. So I don't want to hear about CDC budget. CDC is not in power anymore. I want to see a progressive budget from you. And so far, it is not progressive in my mindset. And so I'm calling on the national legislature, which, by the way, have the power to do this. Tear that budget up. Send them another draft budget. And you all come and reconcile it. All of this thing is a smoke screen. Uh, 10 million, 15 million, 20 million agriculture. Lastly, Grace, you, you hit the nail on the head. Joe Boyka is supposed to be the agriculture president. He was minister of agriculture. He said, oh, he didn't do anything with agriculture because he wasn't president. He was LPMC board. You know what happened in LPMC? He wasn't president. He's president now. $1 million increment in agriculture. And by the way, agriculture is the first letter, A, in arrest. The first letter. President, I want to see your priorities, man. I think this is a joke. Oh. So uh, quickly, I wanted to ask Ben a quick question. So you said that they should send the budget back to the legislature for them to look into it so they can increase their cut that Joseph Baga cut off and, 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 and put it back on because that's no, what no, we no. have. No, no, no. It's actually going. It's actually it's the really legislature right now. What I'm okay. saying is the legislature should you to, to in fact what is done in advanced democracies, the, the legislature will have a shadow budget. That they both will be able to look at together and say, yeah. This is our part because the legislature grace are direct representatives of the people. the people. They are the direct representative of the people. The reason why they are in the legislature is because they're supposed to understand the pains of the people. So they should be able to have a program based budget to submit to the executive to say, You know what, let's reconcile these two budgets and come up with something that is more effective. But listen, I'm not holding my breath too much on that. Because I don't want to pass out. Emmerich. Yeah. I think, you know, uh, uh, Ben, I, I listened to ben. I, ben. I think Ben can replace me at my job to do the budget for my uh, organization. Uh, the reason why I say is um, Ben just went through the whole process of budgeting. When you run on a, on a mantra, right? When you run on certain values, those have to be reflected in your budget. They're almost like your mission and vision, right? Uh, UP came with a mission and vision that uh, they're going to rescue the impoverished people, the poor people. They're going to uplift people. So today I made a couple of posts regarding the budget. I didn't have to go through everything to itemize it, but just the major areas based on their, their platform, things they said at rest in agriculture, uh, ecotourism, all of those things. If the budget is not reflective, for me, I want to see plans first on those things that I like the pillows of their campaign. I want to see it. I want to see plans because the plan is going to drive the budget. It's not the other way around. So today when I was asking for plans, people say, well, they submitted something. No, from the party as UP, I mean UP, to have a plan to say, okay, we're going to move the impoverished community. We're going to move the people. We're going to impact the people through these agendas. And I wanted to see it reflective in the budget. And disappointingly, like, I don't see it. It is. I'm disappointed. I don't see it. So my question is, how are we going to measure them? How are we going to create a contrast of the running of the country from the previous uh, uh, governing structure? How are we going to do it? They say, oh, just watch and give him chance. But from the budget, the budget tells a lot. From the budget, you can actually be able to project and be able to give an analysis as to how someone's going to do just from the budget. From the budget I'm seeing, I don't see payroll being sliced. I don't see a restructuring of our payroll system where the bulk of the money is to go to payroll to see a cutback significantly to have a a small, a effective group of people to run the country. I was looking forward to seeing that and see money being redirected to agriculture, to healthcare, to education, and those things. So if you have a plan, how many schools are you going to build? How many schools are you going to renovate? How many teachers are you going to have in addition to what we had in the past? How are you going to improve the educational sector? Those are the things where I have to question based on the plan. If you have a plan, I won't be questioning because I will read through your plan. 
budget a plan drives a budget. If you have a plan, you present your plan. Out of the different ministries, you can even go some places. If you look, if you listen to JMB back then, JMB said there will be no ministry of edu- I mean, uh, information. He mm-hmm. said that mm-hmm. there will be there will be no need for ministry of information. He did say that. So coming in, if he's ready to run this country, coming in should be a part of his plan to restructure, to see how things because he's been there for so long. And people say he got wisdom. People say he has decades of experience in, in governance. So I expect him to come and restructure those things that have not worked. A lot of ministries over there, I'm not taking from people that work over there. Well, a lot of ministries over there, just calling to him doing nothing. Not much purpose. It's to come and restructure with his, his experience, to come and restructure and see money that being wasted in some of those places to see how he can redirect them to effective areas, effective programs that will uplift the lives of the people. I don't see it. And you can't say it too early because the budget detects to what you're going to do all year round. So you can't say within 90 days, give him 90 days or give him 90 days, but the budget is before the 90 days. So what are you going to do with this budget? It's almost the same as what has happened in the past. And I don't see any, any change, any contrast. I don't see fresh ideas. I don't see new ideas. All I see antiquated ideas just doing the same old thing, but they tell you wait and see how it's going to be done. We can't wait and see how it's going to be done. We will tell you how it's, how it's going to be done because we see the budget and know how it's going to be done. Do we? Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, good evening, uh, um, Congress. Um, I think it is the statutory responsibility of the, the legislature uh, uh, to review all of what we're talking about, the budget of our country, Article 34 of the Constitution, and then clarified on that very deeply. But my concern is basically about, um, as uh, the two last speakers said, um, this issue about prioritizing what we intend to talk about during the period of our, our, our campaign, because it was clearly manifested into the, the manifesto at the time, and we, there was a lot of explanation about it in terms of uh, how we tend to move this. I can recall uh, Amara and his administration, then as Minister of Finance and Development Planning, initiated what I refer to as the Open Budget Initiative. And what the Open Budget Initiative did for us is that it did not only open the mind of the people to the budget, but it also allowed the legislature, now the executive, to sit as to what Ben said, to review as to what is the priority first of, from, the rep- from the legislature, and that of um, the, the executive that will have to present the budget to, to the legislature to review and finally uh, uh, move on the constitutional responsibility to pass it. There were a lot of those things that unfolded. But again, um, one of Mr. Boakai's major pillow into transforming Liberia is this uh, issue about um, agriculture also. I can recall uh, he did not only emphasize agriculture, but he, he himself served before as the former minister of agriculture. And I believe I'm one of those that believe in terms of uh, uh, trying to align that, that with in policy transformation is a very uh, strategic area. It's, got, it's a worth creating sector. That's a sector that can independently boom our transform our economy in no time. If you were to see the amount that law to aid is aligning, and it's not something that I want to believe is going to push to transform uh, the, the sector of making our country a private sector driven institution. Because if you were talking about improving the cooperative, for instance, CDA, the amount sent to CDA is very infinite testimony in terms of analyzing the general budget process here. And that amount is nothing that we have to focus. We move back to one of the major areas in our social service development. Talk about the Civil Seven. There's zero increment. Because if you have to move to the budget, um, the, the, the structural analysis of the budget, first and foremost, they, they are not claiming that uh, there was a reduction of $49 million and the total uh, uh, increases over the amount of $22 million. But what they, they didn't mention to us was the focus area of where most of the money was supposed to go to, right? For instance, um, they didn't tell us the particular amount in terms of our domestic debt, the strategy that we, if you were to move to general claim, and that's what the problem is in our country budgeting. Mm-hmm. They push most of the money, and the president moved on to fund the optics here to say, executive Marshall, I reduced yep. this. Yep. And then there is this extraordinary hike into general claims. Now, what is the explanation behind general claims? Out of the money, so it is where I believe I want to charge our legislature 
to take some time, be more clinical about analyzing the budget process. So do we find a lot of things and squeeze it up on that. Great is having some general fear that they may like that jump onto that and just increase their own benefit. No, I think we should focus on them, telling them also to move into that and see the strategic area. Move back to Liberal National Police. There was a zero increment for Liberal National Police. Zero. Zero increment for, and it is very strategic. Peace and security, there's the first line of our justice system, the Liberal National Police. Because if you were to spend money for the police, there's no logistic, uh, uh, the, the police does not have any logistic well. Now, if you were to go to any of our zones and depots, there's no vehicle, nothing whatsoever. There's zero amount there. Zero. Civil servant, zero. So we need to be a little mindful as people of Liberia now to sit and say, hey, let me leave the optics people trying to bring up. It's a broad thing. It's some the cosmetic morale looking for issue here, right? That goes to the major point of what we need to transform our country. So if those things are not being captured into the budget, it's, very, it's a very serious issue we should talk about here. Now, our lawmakers are supposed to be moving to say, hey, we are about to look back and say there are a lot of other things we need to do. For instance, one of the critical areas they have sector, our noises, zero. Go back to the land at zero. Teachers, that's supposed to be building the foundation. Look at the said, an educated nation is a nation that is boom to have a what we call booming economy. Teachers, that's zero. Zero land at for teachers and the rest of that. So. My critical line of this budget process, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen here, is that we want to align the budget process strategically in keeping with our, with our major interest area. So if you were to look at those critical areas of our country, now, then you, if you went back and you left the Brown National Police and you gave NSA $11 okay. million. Dollars. $11 million. Dollars. And so most of those money is going to go what we call covert operation. And covert operation, they are not explanatory operational line into the budget process. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a much concern for most of the critical dive into and make some, and just that post as to if we are headed right or wrong. Okay, you know, since we are, we are many, and uh, Labrim people are very tuned to listen to, to, to about the, the discussion. The budget is very, for, for, for some of us, we, who are not into the financial world, will be most, will be most quiet most of the time. So we just gave chance, at least everybody can have at least two minutes to, 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 to give the input. Will be fast so we can, we can they can get the best from us so uh uh, uh lofa yeah lofa then we'll go to uh professor kennedy and, and robert but uh lofa before you, why i throw it out to you i mean you were thinking about since this government took over there have been a lot of fire all over the place but you think they will prioritize that the area of the under ministry of justice for fire the ticket for fire services or so forth but when, when the, the question asked i think that ben said somebody said it just now why why did why NSA get away 11 million? Why NSA do so much? But but Lufa, yes, help on make sense. Well, let me um <clears throat> let me start off first of all by saying thanks uh, uh to everyone on here. Great uh good evening, good afternoon. I've been following my apologies for coming on late. Uh, but a couple of things I wanted to highlight before I even get into that. Let me let me start off by thanking uh LTA for actually going into the the, the 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 idea of signing a regulation to protect customers. Something that I asked about when um the public relation officer appeared on the show, and I think they took that into consideration. They finally went into signing uh the regulation to protect consumers. So that's great. That's a good start. Uh, let me applaud them for for that. Um, even though it needs a lot of work. Based on what I saw and read, it needs a lot of work, but um, that's a good start. As far as the budget, look, guys, <laughs> people prioritize. When you decide to do something, you prioritize, and then you implement based on your priorities, okay? You all already spoke of some of the things that if I come out here to say the same thing, we just sound redundant. It appears as though all of us just repeating ourselves, and I hate to sound redundant, but for a group of people who told us they came to rescue an entire nation, okay, to notice that the issue of drugs, drugs abuse, was very high on the campaign propaganda list, to rather take money and put it towards offering people 
thank you cards and claiming that they are, are creating positions for them to work in government talking about that's asset recovery tax force nonsense complete nonsense this group of men and women that you have given authority to have no idea as to what they're they're even taxed with okay i hear people talk about hey guess what the uh, uh the legislator is taxed with the responsibility do you even have confidence in a single person out there for you to even think that they will do anything guess what the same way they have stalled the entire process of the war and economic crimes court because they want to favor themselves and forget the people this entire process will be discussed and at the end of the day it will go into committee room and the people will end up being victims they will be victimized because honorable boycott did not come to the presidency with any agenda he knew like i said before and i want to say this again honorable boycott came to the presidency based on sympathy the people sympathize with him. This man been in government for so long. He's an older man. Uh, at this point, let's just give him something so that we, that's it. They did not see because the unity party did not give you any agenda. They did not give you fire. As of recent, what have you not heard of fire in, in, in Liberia? Everywhere you turn, almost every day. I can play for you five or six different scenarios of fire that resulted to death in Liberia. You would think that they would have allocated funds to fire safety they just ignore that health care but then they bug everything up in closing let me say this uh, uh liberians for those of you who cannot afford these sophisticated applications to use and and, 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 and and you know just go through the budget let me give you something really easy it's free as a matter of fact it's free and you can use it to compare compare is web-based and you can install it on your local workstation at home or wherever it is okay it's pdf24.org it have variety of tools in there and i want to say this again pdf24.org go to that website you can download that too and you if you don't want to download it you can simply just stay on that website upload both documents and compare it that too is so good it tells you what was added what was uh, uh, subtracted and you can go through the entire process please do it for yourself liberian so you can see how these people decided to literally step on your neck all right they came to enrich themselves when they say rescue they did not come to rescue you because for as far as i know when i sit here when i go to listen to uh, 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 people discussing budget as for how it impacts me there are several things that i looked at what are the recent concerns in this in the community the state that are, 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 you know, in the cities. Those are the kind of things people look at, not to look at what would enrich them or give money to their family and friends. Thank you. Uh, Professor Kennedy, uh, the, the, uh, they said these adjustments reflect a strategic reallocation of resources towards priority areas, such as education, healthcare, and agriculture, whilst also implementing cost saving measures in administrative and legislative functions. Help on make sense, man. Like, bring point your, 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 help on make sense of this budget, please. <laughs> Look, so the first thing you have to understand that the budget is all just estimates. There's, first of all, you have to be realistic because there's no guarantee some of these agencies are going to even get this money. So you have to be realistic, right? It's all mm -hmm. estimate. The one criticism you will hear from a lot of the what we call supranational banks, like the African Development Bank, Asian Development Bank, the one criticism you will hear that we see about African government budgets, they are overly optimistic. They're being optimistic in terms of the uh, allotment of this budget. So you let's let's be realistic first and say this budget is all an estimate. It may not even come to fruition. It may not even happen. If it does happen, you're going to have a huge budget shortfall then you end up in a deeper hole than you need to be in. The problem with this budget is you have a little over 600 million just going to, it's not going to anything that's gonna to lead to economic development that will lead to an increase in more revenue for the next year, right? So we're in this vicious cycle. We're not investing in those sectors, technology in this day and age, if you're not investing in technology, your country is not going to develop. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Human capital. If we're not investing in the young people and improving or increasing their skills level to compete, you're not going to develop your country. 
Agriculture, if you can't feed yourself, how can you possibly get the energy to go to work and do stuff if you have a little over half of your population who is insecure? So you have to put money in those sectors that's going to grow your economy, right? Even construction. You have the you have the workforce, you have the labor, because we have a lot of young people in our country. But the problem is sectors like construction, which is where you want to put money into things like housing and things of that sort to boost up the economy, because a lot of people in the states will want to go back to that period, maybe build a house or something, put money in that sector. But you end up putting a little over 600 million in those areas that's not going to lead to a development. You're wasting your time. You're absolutely wasting your time. So Liberia is going to be in a fix. In fact, when you read the first section of the, I think a lot of people just jump straight to the numbers. Of course. <laughs> read when the literature. Yeah, yeah, you have to read the very first section because they try to be overly optimistic in the very mm -hmm. first, first section. Mm -hmm. They're telling you about the global economy, how the economy grew over a year, how it was kind of low and how in 2023, what the expectations are. You have but it's always a strong it. economy in 2023, Larry. They say our economy was strong. And then when you read the next line, it tells you that it was strong in the mining sector. That's the extractive sectors where all of the money is leaving. You know, people are renting. It's not really developing the country. They're just renting, they're mining and all that stuff. When you have growth in the extractive sectors, it's not really helping your people. If you're doing something in the mining sector, where you are doing like an uh, end product in Liberia, then you can say you have growth and development. But you have growth in your in your economy, but it's in the mining sector that's leaving, right? So I look at the budget, I read the first line. The thing that really scares me was the debt, the debt servicing. The reason the debt servicing is, is frightening is because if Liberia misses its debt payment to the international community, and if you, you I heard, I don't hear you guys talk about it on this show. You miss your debt payment. They want to freeze any other allocation you have, whether it's some development fund or something. You see, World Bank have done it right at IMF. So if you miss your external debt payment, you're in trouble. We saw yeah. this happen to Ghana. This is why Ghana is in trouble today. But Abira, you got to fix your credit rating. America spends, America borrows between 1.4 to like 2. Point something trillion per year. The U.S. debt is over 30 something trillion. Nothing wrong with borrowing, but borrow that money and put it in an area to develop the security sector, the judicial system, the fire service, like you guys talk about. Put it into money to help the young people in the education sector. They got to boost up their skills so they can get jobs. Put it in technology. In this day and age, we are in the information age. You have to put money into the technology sectors. How many ministries out there have uh, uh, clean and constant uh, uh, access to the internet? Hmm. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I look at the budget. I say, wow, right off the top, I'm looking at over six, little over six hundred million. That's just going to pay salaries and other uh, uh, recurring expenditures. So I, 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 I have. The fact that this budget is also overly optimistic, you may not even generate that amount of revenue. I'm, I'm really concerned. I'm really, really concerned. And I don't want to compare it to the previous government because you're wasting your time comparing it to the previous government. Thank you. Talk about what you are doing now, what you can possibly do. They need to take, don't spend money on the Ministry of State office. Some of these offices, there were all these high, high allocations. They don't really need it. You know, don't, don't spend money on some of these executive offices that they're not really going to lead to anything that's going to lead to development. That's why I think that's where the budget is suffering. We're spending money on in offices on the executive side that leads to no development. The people looking at this budget, the people are getting peanuts. <laughs> Everybody want to support a politician to get into government because this is the only opportunity of living the life they never had. That's the, that's the reality of it in Liberia and other African countries. People rush to government because, hey, if you can make it in the uh, private sector, go into government sector. Next thing you know, you end up in a nice big house, a nice car, and you're sitting down uh, eating ice cream and cookies every every weekend. And that's how it is in Liberia. So I'm not impressed with the budget, man. I think it's overly optimistic, and I think they're going to uh, catch a lot uh, uh, some flack 
Uh, if things in a global economy that seem turn the way they're expecting it. But we'll talk about it a little bit more. Uh, uh, Robert coming in. But Jeff, Robert, Jeff, information, why you coming? Because I know you're going to talk about it. The, the Ministry of Finance, why the, why the Ministry of State was 20 million, they cut it to 9 million. The Ministry of Finance budget is 172 million. Oh, so just, just some information for you to start. Okay. Whoa. Thank you, guys. Uh, so I'm uh, watching this Lone Star game while I'm watching. Lone Star just got a penalty. So that's a good news for us. Uh, but but listen, but but listen, uh, let me let me say this. Um, go for Lone Star. Lone Star is leading one. Okay, now I can talk. Um, let me let me let me say this. They got me the JMB guy. I was just about to say thank you to my uncle, tenth honorable boy guy. Yeah, let a big fight. You know the two that scored and coming down with them again. Lone Star, yeah, but we're playing, we playing away, so that's a very. Uh, but Tessie is actually playing on that team right now. Yeah, that's a very important goal. But let, let's get back to the topic. You know, I I I read the uh, I read the uh, the little piece of uh, um, my good friend. Uh, uh, Senator Darius Dillon. And, you know, he was very strategic uh, in what he wrote. He said, well, it's not a perfect budget, but he okay. said there was some improvement. Yeah, yeah, here is my thing. You cut the Ministry of State budget from uh, $20 million to $9 million. You're saving close to $11 million. So all of the cuts that happened over here, you're looking at close to 40 something million dollars. And I don't want to, I'm not a finance guy, so I, I will I won't say much on this topic. And I'll listen to the experts here. I really enjoy Sylvester when he got deep into all of the different areas. But where exactly did the uh 40 46 million dollar go in savings? This is the question. I'm not even looking at the 600 million. I can we get ourselves? I think there's an echo. Okay, where, where did the uh, 40, almost $46 million in savings go? Because the increase that we're talking about over here, to talk about Ministry of Education, increased from $98 million to $105 million. Okay, University of Liberia, they added $2 million on that. Uh, the, the agricultural sector, um, they added uh, just a million dollars on that, right? Uh, the health sector, and this is very important, from $64 million to $75 million. And so here is my question. When you have $170 something million dollars for the Ministry of Finance, um, I, 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 I want them to really make sense of this. <laughs> the Ministry of Finance has a budget of over almost $200 million. I want to understand how does that actually make sense from an economic perspective, from a job growth perspective, because you have other sectors over here that I believe uh, could uh, bring more return on revenue based on investment made than the Ministry of, the ministry of Finance. So Robert, can I say something to you on that real quick? Go ahead. A part of it has to do with the Ministry of Finance servicing the debt. Yeah. So, so if they're servicing the debt, well, you know what? Yeah, here's the thing, and, and and you guys are the experts, so I, I won't, I won't. But it's it's not very clear in that in our budget. So, so, so the trick here is you could say there's a there's a possibility of them servicing the debt, but it's not explicit in the budget. I want to see a budget that says, well, we're going to put $40 million or $50 million towards debt payment. It, that's a line item that should be very clear in the budget from all indication, right? You, you can't just buck up a budget and says, well, that's $172 million. It's open to interpretation. And so if they if they are able to get all that money, they could use this, they could use this money as, 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 as discretion, right? And so this whole budget, though, this whole budget, it, it really confused me, to be, to be honest with you. Uh, we talk about uh, uh, IT. Uh, what is, how much are we, are we investing in, 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 in information? How much are we investing? We just, we, just, we just witnessed the whole scare about the country being down for almost 48 hours. 
what is in the budget to actually address this this this, this situation but look i'm not a finance guy i like to stay in my zone uh but i know i can count money the 40 something million dollars that they save yet that they're talking about saving yet if you add all of the increases in different areas they save over 30 something million dollars in legislative budget if that if that's the case I, I still don't know how that is very clear yet i still need to see the line item item by item but if they're saving 38 almost 30 something million dollars from six or seven million dollars where are you allocating that money where is it going why are you only adding six million dollars or so on education the health sector is getting less than two million dollars i mean that doesn't make sense so from my perspective i think this is a trick this is this is a this is all bluff uh, you know this is bluff from the from in terms of you know well we have a better budget than the cdc budget uh, but what they what they always say the devil is the the the, the what what they say what's the term what's the adage the devil is in the, is in the detail in the detail right we've got to look at the details and we want to see the details because this budget right here, i mean it just doesn't make sense but i will stop here and let the guys who have more knowledge on this matter let, let, let them speak on this yeah Rob, or just a point right uh when uh i made a post today i made so many posts it was about the plans the details once you have the plans right i don't think you're going to be questioning these things all the different lines that the allotments and uh they should be able to reveal that plan that that that's uh drive the budget and <coughs> and, and i think it will do them a uh, greater service you know to avoid going back and forth and explaining here and there but if you come in once you come in with our plan like uh uh, uh, uh lofa said right when you come in with our plan that's what happens then now the budget going to drive your plan instead of the plan driving the budget. So, and that's not how you want to do it. Yeah. yeah but uh, how do you how do you do a budget without a plan? But the, you know, I, I, I will say this right. Uh, I have made a lot of inquiries. Uh, the the way our budget is done, people think that we have experts, but yet and still we struggle with with having this whole budgetary explanation and issues and so in our country. Uh, the reason why it is done that way is because people think that it has been done before, so it, it cannot be changed. So uh, for some of us that have been in the area with the, the, uh, the expertise, we think it should be done differently. We think they should have programs tied. In most cases, when you have budget like our country, programs tied to, to the budget, and those programs actually salaries going to be tied to the programs instead of programs that don't impact the people most of the programs that don't impact the people the lives of the people get rid of those programs you don't really need them you don't need them you don't need those programs so for me looking at liberia's problem right now i think i will support a budget that will support programs that will uplift the people that will bring uh transformation to the lives of the people like education the hospital internet or uh, building capacity those things are things that are going to directly impact the people those are the things that will support in a budget other than that paying salaries for people that sit at ministries that don't do anything much i'm not going to support a budget like that because people are going to have you're going to have this outcry as the previous government we're still going to have people complaining because the lives of people are not changing the economy is not once you put people to work like when you cut back, I keep saying when you have this restructuring, you cut back on uh, the, the load on the government, you can redirect the, those funds to the private sector in agriculture, in ecotourism, in other areas. Those are the ways to think or renew the you know, thought process. We have to have a leader or leadership with the mindset of thinking how to transform Liberia from the, 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 the impasse that, uh, that stopped the country from uh, our problem from progressing and move the country in a progressive way that everybody's going to benefit. Can I, can I ask Larry a question, please? Okay, oh, oh, sorry, you got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. One of the things I was going to ask is, I know security is important for the country, but why are you increasing NSA bill? Why are you giving NSA that kind of money? Uh, uh, well, you got key institutions. You know, you got your healthcare sector, the education sector. Why are you increasing the budget? I mean, I know they got cool up operation, all of that, but man, What's going on? I, I just wanted to, for me, and Larry, maybe you can come in here with this. 
Um, when do we get, is there a possibility for any time in the near future where we are going to see a budget that benefits the vast majority of the population? Because clearly what has happened, what continues to happen here is there were 60 plus 70,000 civil servants, right, in the country. I, I'm just guessing, this is a guesstimate. 60, 67, 67, 70,000 plus. That's not even a percentage of the population of the Republic of Liberia. That's not even a percentage, not even 1% of the population. But our entire national budget, the, 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 the one that the, the entire population pays, right? The reason I'm asking this question, because in the, you know, in other countries, like example, the United States, right? I'm not, I'm not comparing Liberia and America. I, I would be, I'll be high on Kush to do that. But then why not though? No, 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 no. I'm not going to waste my time to even do that, Lufa. It's not even possible. It's out of the realm of possibility. It, because let me say this: you you see the budget, right? When Joe Biden say he's going to do debt student loan forgiveness, right? It's affecting a huge portion of the population. It's coming out of the budget. When they're doing a stuff for urban housing planning, I was listening to Marsha Forge, who is the outgoing HUD, uh, uh, not HUD, uh, housing and, 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 and urban secretary. Development, yeah. Yes, yeah, she said currently there's data, right? Like you talk about uh, 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 Larry Emery. Two zero. She, oh, okay. Well, uh, so, so like she said, right? There's currently 500,000 homes being built, not by the government, but some of them through government programs, subsidies of government programs. The question I'm trying to ask here is, when do we make the pivot? What, what do we need to see happen with our national budget? Is it one, is it too small? Which I think it is, right? But even with the one we have right now, how can it... How can we make that pivot to, for it to start benefiting the vast majority of the country, whether it's through education, healthcare, all of those things? How can we how can we do that, Larry? I mean, I'm just I'm just curious about that. Yeah. So the way how a, a lot of the countries that were even poorer than Liberia that are now doing so much better than Liberia, a lot of what all of them have done, they did several things. Number one, they put people in positions based on merit, because you need to have good, competent people at the top of your government. The time we will ever change this is when we have a leader comes in and he's putting people in positions, not based on the support for the party, but it's based, you see like some of these positions then, you should have these positions posted, let people apply for them, not yes. just dish them out, because that way you can get the most competent people. Because when you have a competent person in a department, they will come up with those ideas that will help grow your economy and create jobs. To change your but to change this budget, the budget is so low. The population is growing at around two percent. The population is growing faster than we're actually reducing. Than we're actually creating jobs. So that means every year, as we get about a hundred thousand or so people being born every year, we're putting more people into poverty as opposed to taking them out of poverty. The way how you have you need to do it, like most other countries have done it, you need a way to borrow money. You need money. I don't care what anybody say. They can say money is the root of all evil, but money is a good place to start reducing some of the evils you will see in your country. You need a lot of money. How do you get that money? All these countries borrow money. You see Ghana, people start comparing Ghana in terms of how Ghana is doing, even though they struggle a little bit, you know, with uh, 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 their debt. But the way how you see Ghana made all those improvements, it wasn't just the leadership. It was Ghana's ability to borrow billions of dollars and put it towards leverage, leveraging the assets. Leveraging the they, assets. They, they did. They did a resource swap. A resource swap with with China. As the number one mining company based here in the U.S., they are operating out of Ghana. Those are the kind of things that. So you need to be able to borrow money, and the reason why I like, cannot borrow money because we stuck. Number one, in this whole, uh, uh, um, this program, uh, this credit facility program we have with the IMF. Yeah, IMF, yeah. yeah, yeah. The credit facility. The credit. You need to be able to tap the diaspora. 
Because when you can borrow that kind of money and you put it to develop it, don't borrow the money to go pay salaries because then you're wasting your time because then you'll be worse off than when you started. Borrow the money, set up things like a grant for students there to get some technical training. Set up things like a grant for students there to go uh, uh, improve their skills in construction. Encourage the diaspora, people that are retiring over here to go build homes in Liberia. Mm -hmm. Put that money towards the sectors that will lead to a development your budget will grow because what happens is, as you put money into those sectors, it leads to people creating jobs. Those people that, that got the jobs will spend the money in the economy. It's called a Keynesian model, right? John Maynard Keynes. Those people will spend the money to go to the market. The market women then will need things from the agriculture sector. It's a cycle. That's how your economy will start growing and you start putting more people to work. But you need to be able to borrow money. But if we borrow money, it's usually some type of a, a, a loan from the IMF or the World Bank or a grant or something like that. And we use it and we'll pay salaries. We put it right back. That's why you, when you look when you look at these budgets and you say, "Oh my God, I don't see anything in here that would help the common people." Because I don't want to say this, but worst case scenario, if you have a some sort of a, a, a global disaster or something, you're going to end up with a lot of problems in Liberia. Because anything that happened outside of Liberia, it will impact what's happening in Liberia. We saw what happened with COVID. When the U.S. government started to struggle, what did they do? They put money in their budget to boost the economy. They started giving checks to people, right? They started giving checks to people. Those people spend the money, even though it led to inflation, but those people spend the money and it helped to boost the US economy. But something like that happens in Liberia, we have to wait until the IMF or somebody else come and rescue us. So to answer your question, Ben, the way this happens, it has to do with putting people that are effective in positions within the government. It has to do with the ability to go out to Wall Street, the capital markets, and borrow money. I don't care if you're doing that Ghana, borrow a billion dollars. But don't borrow that billion dollars to go put it in salaries. <laughs> because if you look at the budget right now, our budget debt is at $2.3 billion. 157 million of that last year went to debt servicing. That's why you see the Ministry of Finance budget is so high. We got 157 million of that went to paying debt. And if you don't pay your debt, where are you going to borrow money from now? You're out of luck. You can't get money from the IMF. You can't get money from the World Bank because you're frozen. You're in trouble. So mm -hmm. I, think, I think the leadership needs to kind of rethink this thing. Maybe this, this, this year, President Boyka is looking to put people there to sort of pay them for the work that they did to get him elected. But at some point, he would have to reshuffle his government and maybe bring in some highly technical people and not people who just help him to get elected. Because you saw Ghana fired their finance minister, right? Yeah. They elect what the finance minister because the country is in this debt crisis. So, yeah. Ben, really? to answer your question, we've been in this cycle for years. For years, we've been in this cycle. You know, but I think, let's see, maybe the current minister of finance will rethink this strategy and maybe find some avenue to be able to borrow money and put that money towards those sectors that will lead to economic development. Otherwise, you know, we'll just be here for another, what, 10, 10 years looking at other countries coming past us. But uh, Professor Kennedy, I wanted to say this. So uh, I know you talk about the finance minister trying to borrow money. It, it, it all makes sense. But as we keep on saying, people in positions don't belong there because he can borrow as much money as he wants. When those people in positions don't have the real knowledge to be able to help the country in how to direct those funds and what to do with the money to help the you know the, the sectors that they're working is in vain because our people keep on hiring people because of friendship, because of party loyalty, because they help them to get in, in power and it's killing our country on a regular basis. When we say it here, people don't like to hear it, but it's the truth. People buying positions, paying money, carrying a, a culture troop to go get confirmed because they know they're not even qualified for the position. But other people, because it's their friends, they will come on the same very platform and say, oh yeah, the person, yeah, they deserve to get out, you know, they did this. But in reality, we all know it's not the case. And that's the, the vicious cycle that is killing our country by the day. And our people will continue to suffer because the other countries have tapped into it. They are getting the brightest and the smartest to get in position to help the economy and help the country for everybody to like people are not supposed to be really proper people. They got a, 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 a island or thing or a country in this world that 
the person, the, everybody in our country live very good life because the resources of the country, like what should be falling under that a little bit. But we got most of the poorest people in the world. I can't even afford to have 50 cents to eat a day come from Liberia. Just because the way the people see things and the way they do things, you my brother, so I will put you there. You my cousin, and they travel helping in my life, so I will put him there. And it's just wrong for our country. They are destroying our country. Well, uh, you know who the finance finance people? Somebody from the from the government. The poor are saying they telling me that we should wait and see the 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 budget. How do you call it? The perform budget performance. Uh, Emery, you're helping. They say we should, we should budget we, performance report. Yeah, so we shouldn't jump. The spelling said we shouldn't jump the gun. Wait and see the budget performance uh, report from the from. From, from when this budget is passed and and they start to implement and and, and mobilize revenues i mean uh is that person yeah. right tell, tell no, me, no, you're no, not no. gonna see the performance of the budget no. until sometime way next year Thank maybe you. like around and may or june of next year you know why because well, yeah, yeah. No, because it's not, economic, it's not in may or june it's going to be the end of that budget year the end of the budget year which is yeah, it's not going to be may the end of the budget year. let me let me, let me tell you why i say may june because in order to see the budget yielding or giving the results that you expect in terms of capacity growth in terms of human capacity developing in terms of uh, the healthcare sector being impacted and the reason i said may or june is because you need to look at the economic indicators right your gdp per capita uh, the infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate, the uh, number of students who graduated, all those you know, uh, uh, economic indicators, they come way after the fact. Like even now, we haven't seen the 2023 economic indicators for a lot of areas yet because they come way after the fact. So economic indicators are laggard, they're late, they come way after the fact. So you're not gonna see, what they're talking about is to just see whether they met certain expectations or hit certain goals. But to come to measure how the people benefited, whether food insecurity, you reduce food insecurity, whether the number of children, uh, number of children going to school uh, increase, whether the graduation rate, all the uh, why exam, all those things, then those things come way after the fact. So you're not going to see that right away at the end of the year. They're talking two different things, right? Budget performance and human development performance or, or, or growth. I'm not really concerned more about the budget performance. I'm, I'm more concerned about how well the people benefited. The I'm not going to see that data until sometime next year. So I want to make that kind of clear. I don't know if I explained it. <laughs> I think I think Tomale, I think uh, I don't know. You know, I don't like to take anyone off. Uh, I mean, anything off anyone. But the person who is asking, I think the person does not understand uh, budget performance. I, I believe uh, if the person actually understands budget performance, will not be asking and saying wait for two or three months to, to see how the budget going to perform. Uh, 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 Professor Kennedy rightfully said uh, the human, you know, uh, the index, uh, human development index, and when you look at it to see how people are doing, it's one way you can also measure and see how your budget is doing. You can do that six months, seven months from now to see. How the lives of people, the lives of people have improved, and those things, and it's it's easy to do, but uh, the budget performance is something completely different. To know whether you know the, the following years of budget, whether you have to maybe shut down certain programs or re redirect funding to different program programs that are not uh, effective, or to see how you can improve the, those certain programs that you see some progress. All of those different things, your budget performance will tell you that. So uh, to, to 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 that point. I think the person will have to be clear as to what he or she uh, uh, meant. Okay. But let me ask a question. To, let me answer the question. Uh, every every government, whether I mean past and present, they have uh, direct foreign investment, uh, the, the, uh, budget support. I'm sure the U.S. government, and other foreign government will help. Our uh, will give budget support. So uh, how do they affect the budget if, if the direct support comes in? Comes in? Oh yeah, it, 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 it impact the budget significantly. Um, basically, the European we have two, our major uh, contributing partner to the budget is the EU. The EU contributes significantly to our national budget. Um, the last, the, even the WEA administration, there was a lot of support coming from the European Union. On the most serious note that the support impact is huge. So, and that also significantly impact the national budget on the most serious note. And there we need to uh, look into also. 
beyond and that's coming from the, the eu which of, of course then you have to seek support coming also sometime the world bank can say oh, we're going to do some support coming in to the national budget so yeah it, it does uh, impact the budget significantly and it, it helped in um, doing some heavy lifting and uh, the last time we're having some conversation about it is, is that someone said uh, before is, is the sack absorber for us it, it absorbed most of our our those exogenous uh, um, fact processes we have so those support coming from the eu from the world bank uh, sometimes from the, uh, a, the african development bank and and yeah sometimes the chinese government also do help us in terms of that that the uc we have to commit to some of those things so yeah most of those um uh, contributions coming from our international partners and that of uh, both our bilateral and multilateral partners do also significantly impact the budget yes it, it, I, I got a quick, i got a quick question i got a quick question here for anybody though so I, i've been going all around just trying to just surf and i cannot find where uh, uh the lone star game is being covered or at least we're carrying it from our own source it's on the internet it's on the internet, uh, it's on the internet. i'm watching yeah. it right now. <laughs> well, look, not, are we carrying it i'm saying are we carrying it liberia who's carrying it guys let me let me I'm start sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just want to know who's That's carrying it you got to get out there game from 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 Djibouti let me no fight that one I'm on Rabo's page I'm on Rabo's page I'm I'm carrying I'm carrying a game man I'm okay. carrying I want somebody to help help help, help. Are, you, are you carrying it for Lone Star Space but so, I wanted to I wanted so, to let me show you the I think the game over let your brother talk let me ask the question right so so Anik and I said something quick on the FDIs the foreign direct investments yeah go ahead that is so important. If you put somebody in a position like the, the, the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Commerce, countries out there are competing for foreign direct investment. For example, if you're able to convince a clothing manufacturer somewhere in the US or in China to go and build like a low key manufacturing, that's foreign direct investments, right? Because it leads to that company not paying uh, uh, taxes, which will help the budget because it will boost the revenue base. The way has some countries like Lesotho, right? This landlocked country that is sitting inside another country. A lot of Lesotho is getting a lot of foreign direct investments because a lot of women have been trained. A lot of clothes now have been manufactured in Lesotho. You know why? Because they have convinced manufacturers in Asia. The cost of labor in Asia has been going up. So Africa has a good opportunity now to bring manufacturers to Africa. In addition to that, Liberia, like Lesotho, we have the, something called the AGOA, African Growth and Opportunity Act, right? So we don't pay taxes or tariffs on certain things. So if you convince a foreign company to come and set up shop in Liberia, and they can do that if you, if you, you know, and you tell them, look, listen, set up shop here because when we ship your clothing to America, we're not going to pay taxes on it. Certain agricultural products. So countries have what is called uh, an investment promotion agency. A lot of African countries do have it. They have agencies sometimes based in the embassies around the world that all they do is, in, is uh, promote investing in their countries. We so, do have it also. We have the National Investment Commission. They're not very effective. What, what, very what have they done, Bill? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they don't have they don't have they don't have offices within the embassies around the world. <laughs> the US government is big at that in terms of foreign direct investments. I can't tell you exactly how they're doing it, you know, for whatever reason. I'm not gonna say it, but bringing foreign direct investors to Liberia, including Liberians in the diaspora, will boost up your revenue base. And you can do that. You just need to have a good investment promotion agency to set it up. You can set what is called a trade investment partnership program. I deal with some of that stuff pretty much every single day, whether it's people in South Africa, whether it's people in Ghana, it's people over in China, all the time. You can set those things up and bring investors over to your country and you can make that happen. So FDIs, huge opportunity in there. Use the Liberia Embassy to set up your foreign your investment promotion agency. That's what FDIs can really do for Liberia. That's what we need. To so, the economy. so what what's the possibility of us benefiting from this? Uh, we, we we pass we have we have we have made two pass we have passed twice right consecutively the 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 mcc right mcc scorecard so i mean what the possibility of that that, that library will, will get a compact you, you want me to answer or I you mean, want to hear my answer 
You discouraged me last night, Ben. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, now when I will not discourage you again today. So how, how did I ask you encourage? I didn't ask you encourage so many. Let me, let me ask you, uh, Professor Kennedy. No, I think I have my uh, question. Oh, okay, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. no, no, let me, let, so let me say something. I don't want to discourage you, Dominic, but I'm not going to discourage you. Let me say this. Getting a compact for me is, 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 is there's a couple of things that needs to happen, right? But it's also a competition. It's a competition. It's pretty much you're in a competition with other countries. So, so the problem is, the problem here is there are some structural things happening in Sierra Leone with all the troubles they are having, right? Sierra Leone didn't take $1.5 million from its national budget to set up an asset recovery team to waste money. What Sierra Leone did, Sierra Leone empowered its anti-corruption agency, put in place a very sharp, forward-thinking young man to head that anti-corruption agency. And since he'd been the head of that anti-corruption agency five years ago, he has, he has uh, 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 recovered billions of dollars, I mean, millions of dollars and billions of leons. Right. And it's, it's shown that you can see it happen. The fight against corruption. Right. Is also realistic. It's realistic. It's not today we are having an audit. But Ben, then we let, commission let, the audit. You guys went for Facebook. We passed right? twice. We passed yeah. twice. But, but you know why the audit got decommissioned? Yeah, because they, they won't put a 10 million in it. For, for okay. The simple. Simple as that. Yeah, so, so, uh -huh. so, 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 Emmerich, that is what I'm saying. Right, but it's not so, illegal. When it come, when it come to people, they, 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 they people, they may, the people in power, they, they can determine what they want to do. Right. My only thing is, look, these th you competing against Rwanda, Sierra Leone, Ghana, stay looking for compact. All these countries, like Larry said, that have structural things in place. What, you know, it's like, it, 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 like when you go, it, it's like Liberia playing Brazil. I mean, it's just that simple. Let me break it down that way. It's like Liberia playing Brazil. We're playing Djibouti right now. We're leading 2-0, right? If we decide tomorrow because we jump, if we win this game, and we, like we typically do in Liberia, after we win this game to, today, we pray that we win. Tomorrow, the, the whole country will believe we're ready to play Brazil. <laughs> the whole country. We say we're ready to play Brazil. We just hire one foreign coach. They already said that you bring that you bring uh America. I thank you. You see what I'm saying? Look, winning a compact tournament, you know why Ellen won a compact? Let me tell you. Ellen had a task force. And this is something I had, this is a conversation I had with President Salif personally. I asked her, I said, what were some of the things that you did? Even Amara Kone is aware because he was one of the, 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 the people. They had a task force coming in. When they, 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 you know what they used to do? They had a checklist. If you fill in, let's say, I'm just throwing it out there, corruption, right? That task force will go laser focus on what we did wrong in corruption. Education, uh, funding, access to women, health care. They will have a... They were, Ellen Salif was intentional. She was deliberate, coupled with the fact that she was a celebrity, she was a their darling girl, but they put in the work. They put in the work. Let's fast forward to the CDC administration. All the things we can talk about the CDC and people can want to hit on the CDC administration. The reason they passed was because they were intentional also on some of those issues. They were intentional on some of those issues. Now, it's going to be left for the president to be intentional. But I can tell you, Tommy, that compact, that not money that get Liberia name on it. That, that compact is out there for the grasp of countries that mean business. Countries that mean business. The president, since the president came to power, the president and break so many of his promises that he has made. So many. What happened to the 10,000 young people that were training in ICT from his, from his, his State of the Nation address? What happened to it? Nobody talking about it anymore. This is the country we have. Nobody. You remember he made a statement in his state of the nation. He would train 10,000 young people in ICT. Where is it? Where is it? Nobody has said a word about it. He also announced, I brought up the issue of Kush. He announced a, a sector, a, a ministerial committee, right? 
Have they had one meeting? That committee now have one meeting? Have they had one meeting? Have there been one report released to the public on the issue of the, the what is being done for Kush? The only thing we see, A.B. Kramer is arresting. They say he arrested his old drug, his old mechanic with, with drugs. <laughs> he's been the drugs. And, 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 and my brother, Hassan Fadiga, today was told in Freeport. He said he did impromptu visit. Listen, these things are not things that are going to move the needle. Everybody, guys, every, all, the, all the people doing the government is grandstanding. Everybody, in like, you know, you know what it reminds me of? Like old time again. Everybody manning their wing. That's what they're doing. Oh, today, you know, uh, Sarah Besso Yanti, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, she had press conference. She, she got her own uh, media team. They post her today, telling her passport. And then, they, they, okay, they all won't finish. Then we'll go to, to, to LDA. If I go on to LBS, he went, he, he told all the sectoral, he was telling all the OO billionaires. Bam! Tell her old time again, no cohesion. You don't win compact that way, Tommy. You win compact when you have a government working in unison. When you have a president who is in control. Clearly, Mr. President doesn't seem to be in control of his government. He clearly doesn't seem to be in control of his government. Look at his national budget. So I'm just saying, my, 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 my hope is that they will get it right. There's still, there's still a new government. But let me tell you, the United Party has aborted its honeymoon. The United Party has aborted its honeymoon. Look at what has happened in the country. You want to talk, all you want to talk about George We are by this time, George We are were already fixing door community rule. By this time, in his presidency, George We are had George We had intervened on the UL. He had he announced the free education. I'm just saying. So what are we what are we doing? Well, Ben, that's the truth. That's that the is truth. The yeah, but, that, I mean that's it. But true. this time, but this time, the foundation for the 14 military for the 14 hospital. military hospital was done. You could see then when then when the people say well, I know there were mediocrity in all those things where they were doing it. But, but again, again, Grace, like we say, that is the measurement the Liberian people has given themselves, right? They've given the two these two political parties have dominated our political space for the last 20 something years, right? CDC that is supposed that was supposed to be the most incompetent. By this time in we are administration, we had tangibles we could point to. Yeah, yeah they have a form they have, they have by this time they, they seven, 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 we have community. Uh, seven, seven, and, and by seven, that time, by that time, these guys are already gotten paid for at least a month. But that's what I'm saying. Several sevens have gotten paid. You, you, this government took 41 million dollars from the national legislature. We don't know what they spend that money on. We don't know where they spend that money on. Several servants are still not gotten paid. They still have not gotten paid. So what is going? Where are their competence? No, I thought it was intended for 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 paying. You know, paying salaries, man. The forty one million dollars. The forty one. It was not for salary. I thought it was for salaries, and I, well, I don't know. Oh. Oh, What's the old that they think? I don't even know. Look how the people even dress, not even ready. Oh God, have mercy. So, 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 but it, it, it will be a disaster if, if this government, if, if they fail, if, if they have our MCs a failed school card. The, 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 the major signature project that President Joe Borka can boast of in his first two months in office is the dedication of a police boot at 72nd Junction. Hmm. That's the only project I know President Borka has done. One police boot, he went and caught a ribbon at one police boot. This was just here in three months. Three months. The most incompetent president according to United Party. So what are we talking about? I mean, yo, look, y'all don't let me put my election business in my head right now. And that's the reason why the people thought that. Because what George Weir was doing wasn't really still adding up to the Liberian people. They just felt that it was slow. It was not up to pack. It, it was not, you know, really organized and everything. So they thought this government were going to hit the ground running. That way they made a mistake. So I thought so too. Thought I thought so too. Great program for for that like, people that say, okay, look at what happened when Judge Real King and now look, the, yeah. the, the, the people Grace, 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 I agree with you. I think by now we should see. Yeah. I'm go, ahead. Yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Something. Something. Uh, my friend Eugene Namwe said, and you know, it's mind boggling. The two executive orders that Joe Borka signed, he only changed six words yes. in both of them. He plagiarized. Exact, 
Go at when Eugene said it, I thought Eugene was just Philip oh, Boston. That's the truth. Yes. I swear to God, when yes. Eugene said it, I really thought he was just, you know, he was I say that Eugene just doing a politics thing. I went and I compared the 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 the, 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 the executive order line by line. Only six words they change. Water and seawall, executive order on right. What was job we are one of the first thing he did, he met with rice importers. Uh, my, our friend Ami Moda came on the show. What did he announce? 25 cent reduction in rent. So then what, what and and 30 months? seconds, okay? Did you listen to the full interview of Eugene uh, Nangwe? I did. I, I did. I did watch it. So and I, I just thought that that interview was very strategic. And I think that if you look back at the, uh, the, the recent election law, if you listen to that interview and some of the responses to specific things that have come from the Minister of Information, I think they are pushing back here, and I think they're going to use him and others to really push back on this government on, on a lot of different things. So, so for so, me, I, I just, I just, you know, we need to, we need to leapfrog. I, yeah, the leapfrog, and and, and 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 let them get serious because this is a joke. This I is think that, but now, Ben, but now we should see a contrast between this administration. Clear contrast. No, what's clear contrast. Clear contrast. Yes. Clear contrast. But, 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 but uh, Emmerick, you, 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 you can continue. We are all, how many more months we have now until the first 90 days? I mean, how far are they with this whole no car will get stuck on any road in, in the entire country? How far are they with that? They put two, that, they put, they sent two yellow machines the other yeah, day. Yeah, but that was in Lofa. I mean, that, that was in Lofa. you guys to manage your expectations. That was in Lofa. So, I mean, you, you got literally one month and a few more weeks to nine well, guess, days. How realistic so, is this? You know, here, here's the reality about this, right? I'm sorry, I hate to sound as bad as I do. I did not expect anything good from this government. I don't expect anything good from them. I'm just here to reassure my people that what they believed in yesterday for which they made this mistake and caused themselves this calamity. They need to manage the expectation. The like MRI content, I will not declare my asset, said, you just need to continue to manage your expectation. The re if you notice on the social media now, you know that they are now bringing these kids who cannot get a job anywhere else to now start defending them on the social media. When they post some of these nonsense, they go and defend it and say, oh, this is justifiable. And this is the this is a serious government. This is a government that's supposed to rescue a nation, a government that brings in people to to, to reward them for 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 their commitment or their support in uh, during an election time. Or campaign season, you gotta be joking. I, to be honest with you, I'm not the religious one, but I would sit here today and say I'd rather sit here and, and, and listen to Dr. Peabody preach to me about hoping than to even think that this government will do anything better. They, they, we will only continue to go down the slip. And again, I pray that they prove me wrong. I pray that they prove me wrong. If I'm proven wrong, I would not be the guy. I would. I would not be Sylvester Peabody to not acknowledge and accept that. Um, you know, I was wrong. I would not be the politician. I would acknowledge and accept and think I was wrong. But this government cannot do any better than she started doing already because you know what? They had no agenda. They had no plans. They came here hoping that they would succeed. I, matter of fact, while we're on here, I went back to my archive. I put up a video from Spoon Talk when at the time uh, uh, Ben and Tamalane and other guys were on there when people were, 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 were giving their oath. We, we don't want government job because we got this. I, I literally just put up, go back. I'm, I'm not going to post it here. Go, March 1st, 2021 is there. Go listen to that video. March 1st, 2021. Go listen to that video from uh, School Talk and listen to them. Thank well, you. Let me, let me, let me, I think the Minister of Education, the, the, the Minister, of Minister of Education, he was stuck in a mud in Zwerju Fish Town Road last night. So President Baga said nobody will get stuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was stuck in the, in the mud. On the sweat you fish down road last night. You're laughing, but this is gonna be a serious yeah. issue coming out. Let me let me let me ask the question. You know, some of you guys, anybody can answer. Why should I why should our folk leave from here who claim they were making a six figure salary <laughs> and going to take two thousand dollars job in like do you think it'll be helpful for the country? They want to um, serve the country. No, the, the, no, the fact no, 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 no,
let me ask you this in return, right? Honestly, I want to serve my country at an appropriate time. But if anyone will offer me a job right now for $4,000, I'm not accepting it because the stage I, I am in my career right now, I don't think I'm in the stage to make, yeah, any, sacri that, to make any sacrifice for my country. So the question is, why question. are those guys doing it, though? No, but this is the because point, right? Steal. I always say this, right? It may sound childish, but I say if you want to 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 prove that you actually make that amount of money, show us your pay stuff. I, I mean, no. if I say I make this, no, it's so route. easy for me to show my pay stuff. No, I mean, we're not doing that. No, we're not going that route. No, but no, but that's that's how you want to be. That's the route we should go. That's the route we should go. We should well, verify salary. That would be that, even if you want to share a pay, so you have bring your yeah, but you can verify salary. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you can you. verify yeah. salary. There is Give no us the authorization to verify this, salary. That we live, somebody will be making a, 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 a six figure in the country and say they're going to say, bring your salary. What you want? Listen, I, 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 I don't. I, I, listen, I can't. Let me say this. Let me say this. I can't. No, what you do it? I can only. I can only hold them by what they say, right? If someone says. That they want to make, a, they want to take, they want to make the ultimate sacrifice to go home and sacri and, and 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 serve their country. I can only take them by the word. Ben, not, not a country. Of, if you, if you, but you have a mortgage in America. You have a wife and kids in America. Yeah, but what I'm you're saying gonna go is, back, you're going to go back home and take a 80 percent pay cut. And you yeah, want to convince me that you're gonna pay your mortgage here and yeah, Robert, your Robert, responsibility yeah, like Robert, that? Robert, Robert, you know, the expectations to see more money from the government so they can Robert, Robert, we don't know. We don't know what's there. You don't have to. I don't want to believe. All the sources of income. I don't want to believe. believe. I don't want to believe that they will leave. I don't want to believe they will leave without a plan. Right? We don't know what their plans are. We don't know what 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 plans they have put in place. I'm not gonna knock them. Look, at the end of the day. They want to serve, let them go and serve their country. The only issue that I had with it, right, was some of the very same people casting aspirations on people who, because they didn't support their side, were saying that, oh, those people were not patriotic, right? Like, if you support Cummings and me, Cummings paying you to support him. If you support we are, then you're unpatriotic, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. If you support President Joe Bokai because you believe in his vision, you believe he's the best person to be able to transform the country. So I would never insult you or push you or push you or think negative about you. If you want to go and serve, go ahead and serve and make that sacrifice that you claim you want to make to be able to serve your country. For me, it's neither here nor there. Yeah, but Ben. I'm focused on, I'm more focused, laser focused on what is happening from the top because we know how important and how powerful the top is in Liberia. Look, these very people ben, who are there... Am I yeah. Problem? yeah. <laughs> These very people who are there, if they go ahead and they do what they, they don't need, if they go ahead and get involved in things that they don't need to go ahead and get involved in, it will take the top to go ahead and fire them. If well, the so top is my friends that are in the office, so but, the, the but, but, but this is the thing, man. Yeah. Well, you are so you are there. No, I said one of the things. One of the things I see. You know, you know, one of the reasons why we say some people are want to keep back. You know, yeah, one, so of reasons, <laughs> you know one, of, one of the reasons why we feel Wait, wait, Emmerich, push... Emmerich, Emmerich, yeah. Emmerich, please go. Don't no, tell continue, me. Emmerich, no, Emmerich, 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 one of the reasons why we feel as a nation, Emmerich, you really don't have to listen to me this time around, Ali. We, we, I know that I hope that gossips on me. I'm not going to no, go there. I'm, 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 <laughs> no, one of the reasons, yeah, one of the reasons why we feel as a nation, right? We don't push on integrity. To me, I would never ever have a problem with my job sending a letter of verification on my salary if I'm going to like to sell myself and say, you know, this job I need to get this amount of money because I need to take care of my family and what I make back there. You know, I can verify it. So I don't think there's anything wrong with pushing for transparency in what we do. If we want to be in the in in in, in the public uh, uh, sector, so people will come and say, you know, I I I, I was making two hundred thousand. It's illogical to say you make hundred and fifty thousand, hundred thousand, and go back and say because of sacrifice for country, right? 
I will forgo well, my people bills. Do pay, people, do, but, do, people do take pay cuts for sacrifice. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. do agree. People I do, do agree. agree. It, 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 no, that's uh, what I, I do uh, agree. Uh, there, were, there was basically no. a time, uh, Madam Salid introduced this process back home in the country, right? But again, for the recent time, the, the current president of the republic engaged uh, our former finance minister and the former uh, IMF and World Bank executive. And she said clearly that uh, this time around, she couldn't uh, have the time to go and serve as minister of finance. Dr. Anthony Sai, if you are basically making more than the six figure or double that, there's a time the negotiation will come out. She said this time around, she didn't have the time to do that and she didn't move. That's why Boyma Kamara was the second option and he was appointed minister. But it's clear. Madam Salif came up with a program via the UNDP concept at the time to uh, allow those uh, competent Liberian individuals in the diaspora to move into the country. That was that, that the executive, the, the civil, I mean, the executive, so executive program. And UNDP pumped millions of dollars to compensate most of those people that were leaving their six figure job here. At the time, there was a clear cut methodology new deployed. But now, I mean, it's quite unfortunate. If you have to go through the sector, the, 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 the process of our pay ban in Liberia, from the proper, minister proper is around now 7,000. Take who is basically around 5,900, deputy minister 3,000, and assistant minister 2,300, if you will. So, 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 it, so, Piri, can I ask a quick question though? Yes. You said there was a program put in place at the time. Where the, right. The government will. Give a certain amount, and then there was the, another the program. UNDP, yes, the UNDP. to okay. supplement, so, so yeah, to supplement that, sacrifice. to supplement, so yeah, definitely yes. not a sacrifice because, yes. to some extent, it was it, it was not coming directly out of the government's budget, right? It was so big, so that's that is correct. About you yes, see so so you see people like, uh, for instance, my former boss uh, John Molu, right? The EU took responsibility on his salary at the time. John Mulu and what the government did, the government took out of other petty issues and, and the rest of that. And it, it was all about the, the process. And Madam Salu was very strategic into doing that because she, she needed to attract competent people. But then this, our country was devastated, right? All of the structure of our government bureaucracy were all broken. So you needed to ex people with huge expertise to come and you needed to, they needed to be very independent. So you saw you need to be paid some for 10,000, 12,000, 8,000, 9,000. So if you are to leave a six-figure job here, you get the same six-figure salary, right? And some in some of the process, the negotiator of most of the international jobs, they reserve your post. After one, two years, you return to your job here. So that was the kind of process, uh, Julia. So yeah, unlike oh, yeah. like what most of our comrades saying, and say, right. for instance, the, the, the deputy DEA boss saying you are getting six figure here, and going to take <laughs> one thousand. One thousand, one thousand. Leader, man. Leader, man. Do you have big leader? Nobody call him. I didn't call him. I didn't call him. I said, "Don't tell me we can do it." Yeah, why we have to let our people know this? You know, I'm a great, great, great. This is where me and Ben can get, 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 they would rather be professional and and, and, and know. And they were never they professional to us. They were never professional. Listen, but Pee Wee, but Pee Wee, yes, it's a thing, right? But Pee Wee, see, that's it. Doesn't make him unprofessional. It's a professional. No, no, no. What I'm saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying Pee Wee is being unprofessional. What I'm saying here is. Ben, he wants to hear these things, but then he want to come as though no, he's no. pathetic with them and siding with them professionally. You know what I'm saying? Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. I don't think, I don't think, I, I, I think, I think maybe just a few people. I have been a huge target to right. some of these very people, mm -hmm. right? Ben, he living off of government. Uh, president, we are paying my my rent. He paying my he. If I had a president, we are paying my diary for my wife. Uh, 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 I mean, I just mean it, right? And I'm supporting we are because that. So look, for me, it, it's neither here nor there. I'm not. I'm not worried about that. You know why I say that is because I know why I do what I do. I know why I did what I ended up doing, right? Now, I give them the benefit of the doubt because, like I said, I think the most noble thing any citizen can aspire to do is serve his country, uh, serve his or her country. That's the most noble thing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Is, is, it, is it what you're saying, huh? Thank you. This is, this is, see? This is, yeah. what, thank you. Yeah, but he's, 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 what's this is, 
¿Qué es Joe Mangala? Es one person, right? My yeah. thing is, like, 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 okay, Pee you said the deputy DA boss, Fasan Fadiga, right? Mm -hmm. Hassan clearly stated that he, yes, he is on record for saying that he made a lot of money or he was making a lot of money in 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 uh in the U.S. I don't know Hassan's current financial uh, uh, situation. Maybe he has a strong savings. Maybe he feels he's in a space where he can take a pay cut and go to Liberia and 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 serve his country as deputy director general for 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 DEA. Good for him. I salute him. All I ask for him to do is to do the job. Go there, give it your 100 and present your, your, yourself in a way where your people will be able to benefit from your service. It's not because they 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 insulted me or insulted us, like you say, Pee Wee, right? I, listen, I, I I don't have ben, time to do that. Ben, Jeremy, yeah. ben, ben, I'm sorry. My, my, my daughter is in, in Cyprus University. She's paying, paying good money there. My son at Georgia Tech University. I got my, my two my three dollars. They come to be in college. I'm not gonna to lie to use that goal, like bro. You so I agree with you, Tommy. My person, my person, we are asked me one man. He said, Tommy, as a person, we are right now. I can't leave my daughters there and can't like bro now because they when, but right now they are girls. And they enter college now and hand. And right now, I feel attached to my children. They can't leave and say, I go on like bro. They can't say, and that's your and that is your story. Of a love of country. Story. I want to, I can't. No. So those who make it, Ben, Ben, love it, love like bro, they in like bro because they love the country. That of la of la talk. No, it's not Ben. Ben, <laughs> ben, Ben, Ben. Uh, one minute, Lofa, one minute, Lofa. Ben, we have to be intentional. Ben, we have to be intentional here, right? Thank you. Let's be, let be very blatant. Yeah. If we are moving to say we here to hustle for job, let's say we we do need to hustle for political jobs. We shouldn't come and bluff here. Those kind of cosmetic way of doing things and the rest of it. I don't I don't subscribe to them. If the belief is listen, when when I And it's not issue that when I came, I can recall when I came, the, the very time I, I interacted with George Dubois in Arizona, when I came here to school in 2015, I was very clear with the, there was an error we had. Well, I, I, I heard he back now, right? He in his season. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's what I said. The last time I communicated with him, was the, then he was staying in Liberia. Guys, I I and I was very clear. I was very it's clear. Not, I said to them, if you get out of my program, going back to Liberia, we'll go broad campaign for George Weah. If, if, if the George Weah would be the president of Liberia, we'll, we'll hustle in the, in, to, to get job in government. But clear. But for the more you know, I said, no. The intent is so sometimes you got to be intentional about this process. Guys, can we, can, we, can, can we please take call from people so back home to get a reaction to this budget? I'm, I'm, Lofa, Lofa is making maybe a uh, 10 figure now. Maybe you'll go out against uh, the job. Hey, I wish I'll make it 10 figure. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you'll be there now, Lofa, and then you do a 10 figure. Go 10 figure now, Lofa, and then come on. You know, we didn't cut now. Give me. The only guy. No, 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 no. Go back here. The guy will do that. Do you got your Lofa? Galas. Galas. Now, my idea, you can. You're not going to full line. So it's confirmed now. For example, Baka said in the first 100 days, no car will get stuck. The Minister of Education, the, 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 the population officer there confirmed that on LBA this morning that the minister did get stuck in the So it's confirmed? She reached, the public relations officer at the MOE said that that's to reach reached down around 1 a.m. this morning. So, I got kind of got stuck in the end of the hour. And I started reading you. Lofa Kane Ropa, hey, come here, what's up? What's up? Take your car from the video back. Let's stop the video back on for a time, Alain. That's know yourself, please. Know yourself. I'll see you. I can't take, can take calls. Eh? Henry, can you hear us? Oh, so that would say, say when you, when you, when you go on spoon, you get jobs. So that everybody, all the poor. Everybody go. So, so you come back <laughs> home. And, and use the internet to hustle for jobs. But, but what happened to my man Remy Ellison? Remy been on school for a long time now. <laughs> man, they can't keep it. My uncle been there for a long time now. My uncle Remy been there for a long time. The country. Zero two one zero zero one seven six three five. Everybody hustling. We live on the post in Argentina. Zero two one zero zero one seven six three five. Is the number to call and then you're going to be live. Let's call. Hello. How are you? Hello, 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 hello
And even Roy Jones. Um, I come on, Johnny, you go for it. I thank all the pilots on the show, uh, for the show, throughout all the time. Everybody over there, whatever you're saying, it is true, my brother. But there's something that's happening in that country that we all know. Mr. Ben Savi, Mr. Collins, you know, everyone is okay able to work in this country. You all know this country, you all know how this country is rich. But the problem that there, the management is what the problem is. Somebody can work in this country and make money. And benefit is not really like in America, but you benefit go in America. So the world is saying, this is where the problem is. And you don't know that. Everyone that you put there will go here. You don't go there. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that. But the problem that they don't think it comes from the management aspect. Hey, man, look at you do your own thing. Why you come up with something? So kindly, zero two four seven zero one seven sixty five is the number of corner you're going to be loud to make a point. Zero two four seven zero one seven sixty five. Hello, hello, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Your name is John. Well, this is Eros Maria. I'm going to be a bit of a little 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 bit of a if a woman is back on you, back on you, you're a you begin to of dollars in your city. So you keep that on second fire. <laughs> Yo, people call it jokes here, right? Yeah, <laughs> Just to not come to the show. Good as far How are you? Hello? Hello? Oh, I will not keep it alive. You have to lower your monitor. I'm not keeping it now. Get up on the line. I want to make their point. Zero triple seven zero one seven six three five is the number to call, and then you're gonna be live. Do right, this call up. Hello. Yeah, I'm How are you? You're new from where you joined us. Okay. Go ahead. There is not spoon FM. Oh. You see, like the other are, are two guys. This is not spoon FM. This is truth FM. The closing argument is then or uh, really on this program. Our panel is there. For all these guys you see here, they were on spoon before, they were on the spoon talk. So now, they are on the closing argument. Please. So this call uh, Yeah, my name is Del Luz Kali and I call from Kingsville. Okay, make your you point. Know, I'm disappointed in the final minister from Kamara. He was very big on the changing of system of budget when he was campaigning. But so in the he submitted budget with 93% on recurring expenditure and 7% on PSRP. PSRP is what would draft the economy and move the economy forward. Yeah, the private sector. We have caught from the financial scale, whatever. We go and see compensation alone is around 297 million. So, from a camera, that budget just should do all they can to reject that budget and restructure it. It will reflect the happiness of the Liberian people and the aspirations of the Liberian people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Zero two four seven zero one seven sixty five. We'll take just three more cards and then we'll go back to the panelists. So how, would it, how would the Senate uh, uh, refuse that budget? American is yet to declare his ass. No, I'm not keeping it. I'm not getting you. You come in broken. I, 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 I
15. Okay, Jack from this good number 15. Yeah. Make your point. And then we think a lot. You know, we just have to Living the devil, we are already there, but the argument is open. Uh, triple seven zero one seven six three five will take just two more and then we'll go back uh, to this caller. Hello, yeah, hello, how are you? Yeah, thank you very much. This is Sam. We are in our following from our living down residence. Okay, Sam, make your point. Okay, then thank you for the opportunity. I say thank you to the other parties for the analysis. Uh, uh, we told the Labrador people, most especially when it comes to women job worker, the women have no social skills. We told them there are other competing that women besides the President George Weah. The best thing you can do for this country, you have people that come to other people. If you don't like George Weah, why can't you bring those people who are going other to have the country going forward? This one is happening. This one is happening. The whole country is in disarray. There's been there no signs of who government is on guard. See the practice of this community. That law is finished. You brought a budget. Why are you giving 1.5 million to people who already have on mind that the former president or the former government were corrupt? Before many, 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 one way. When we sat in a corner where he had that who said money got missing person, we had the all of all all person, we have got no official work for us. Then you brought some sacred matter. Who because he left the LACC, he had that greed. Is that the independent people? If you want to fall corruption, the issue of crime, economic crime, you have no statute of limitation. Can you are see what Omer Joe Baka? You wonder the opportunity 2017 was not given to you. They have been given to you now. Why you go back to 2005? All of the money that, that, that got missing at the time. Look how well they rough. Is it a great for money? Can you give me agriculture? Own on your own agenda, agriculture comes first. Five million. Can we accept that? It gave me back capital. You can have some of the cost for more empowerment. It's a total bluff. We sit in there, we throw our own people. They will not do well. They will not be in the fighting on job. What kind of president in the world you expect? They Thank you. Know that somebody carry noise to you. You say no, it's a mistake. Thank you so That's much. I'll hold you there and then pick up. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.
Thank you. 0247 take the very last call to go back to the team there. Okay. Oh, I got two callers on the line over here, guys. Are you out? Yeah, hello. 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 Our last quarter. The different way you join us. Okay, make a point. One minute, please. Okay, thank you so kindly. That's it. <laughs> All right, we got a couple callers on the line here. We'll take two callers on the line here. Uh, breakable power, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Breakable. Uh, let's check out next caller. Caller from 763, last four is 7242. Caller your name and where you calling from? Elvis, welcome to the show. Let's hear from you, boss, man. Thank you. Let's take. We got one more call on the line. Call your name and where you calling from. Three four seven last four. Oh, that color hung up. All right, guys. I'm gonna get up the phone line here. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead. I think that's it. Yeah. Come in. We're ready. Okay, guys. We all done, right? Yeah. So, guys, we just want to now discuss what's on your mind, and so we can we call it a day, right? What's on your mind? Yeah, let me start so I can to do. 
What's on my mind? Yes, I think the caller alluded to it. I wanted to talk about it. I saw a police circular from our friend Moses Carter. Surprise, Moses Carter is still the, the, oh, oh, the police guy job. Yeah, I'm surprised. So I think Gregory, I think Gregory kept him there. I was surprised that somebody didn't have their eye on that job. No, somebody else already. I think I'm hearing that somebody coming. Ah, okay. Well, now you see, now nah, I can't caught top of the main job. There you go. Yes. Poor Moses. But yeah, I saw a circular saying that I think they will. Uh, anybody who's right, anybody who's driving cars on the right hand side, no longer no should go on this streets um no nobody selling gasoline on the side of the road should sell on the side of the road literally you know all care should have insurance which are, these are all good things you know uh i think the next thing will be i think they should one of the things I, i've been hearing that they're going to be doing is that they're going to ban uh motorcyclists from flying the main streets um and going into the community something which was the policy under the previous unity party government so I uh, will wait to see what happens uh, with the implementation of that. What's on my mind also is the national budget. Uh, I think the national budget is a joke. I'm, I'm waiting to see what they do with it. I'm waiting to see how they, they and the reason I call it a joke is not because CDC budget was perfect. Uh, it's not that, but they campaigned that they were going to do things differently. They campaigned that they were going to do things. They were going to have a more effective and a more robust national budget. What's on my mind is that the president is the educate? I mean, the agriculture president, and he only got five million dollars in his budget for agriculture. What's on my mind is that the president campaign. He said, "Oh, you know, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were. They had a famous campaign song. Uh, uh, Grace was, uh, we gave you, we gave you six years, and you brought Kush, and and you know, and we're going to rescue you from Kush. I have not heard anything, anything whatsoever. No plan, no program. I only heard the president name a, a sectoral committee and took a drug test with his vice president. I don't know whoever, I don't know whatever has happened to other officials or government taking drug tests. What's on my mind? Since the president declared his assets, he has not published it. The vice president declared his assets. He has not published it. No other minister of government. We haven't seen that. They started with this fanfare where these ministers were uh, declaring the assets and uh, posting it. Oh, we just declare our asset. It has turned into another another situation where it's like a Coca Cola. You know, like like you know Coca Cola, right? They drink Coca. You put now you shake it, you put it uh, the full, and then you know it just it just comes down. We're back to business as usual. This is one of the reasons why Liberians were worn in twenty seventeen, twenty twenty three. That if you don't want George Weir, Unity Party is not the way to go. We were warned. These people were warned. They told them. And so I don't know. You know, I'm not going to have any sympathy. Let me just stay for the record. This is my last my last talk. I'm not going to have any sympathy for anybody complaining about Unity Party administration. I, I'm not, especially those who support the Unity Party. I'm not going to have any sympathy whatsoever for them. Because at the end of the day, this is what you sign up for. I think the president... The president will get a chance to to do what he feels that he has to do, and let's wait and see. It's just unfortunate that the country is going to stay stuck, and we're going to be we're going to be having this conversation six years again down the road. That's what's on my mind. What's on my mind? Thank you, Ben. <laughs> what's on my mind is I heard the caller saying that we we'll just wake up in the morning, and we will we we'll just look up to God and just turn around. And you know, he said something like that. But everybody has the right to be born in a country where you will have dreams and aspirations and you will have a vision for your life. And it can come to fruition depends on the country you are born in. So even the countries that are around us, people still living their dreams. And majority of the people are totally got poor people in those countries. But it is not, it, it, it is not as bad as it is in Liberia. What is on my mind is that UP pleasurized, the UP government they pleasurized CDC and security order. Just how they went. And they were on website to website. They stole all that of money by playing and fish up. And he, 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 he had for his he, 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 he campaign. They stole all from his website and put it on their website when they posted that be, they kept it behind it for website. That's some of the things that on my mind. What on my mind, I hope and pray that your put strong uh, 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 laws and uh, uh, your, your try to, to, to purchase or your denounce that budget in the legislature so that you can have more money allotted for the safety and security of our people or else people will not be coming to the country to invest. What's on my mind 
the last one is that you are looking to tourism. It could bring more benefit to our country. Thank you. Do you want your mind? Yeah. Um, I would I would take it off from here. I think I got two or maybe a little or two and a half things uh, on my mind. Uh, but I will first start with this issue about the fire incident across Monrovia and its environment. Uh, it's a very critical thing that I would think that um, the the management of the, the Liberian Fire Service Authority should put into place a kind of a, a fire safety routine for most of our residents. It is on the book. Uh, we have to adhere to those fire safety processes and the rest of it. I uh, would think it is about time we begin the process of educating and, 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 and trying to spread across the country uh, some major issue to teach our people how to engage, uh, how to manage their homes and to prevent uh, the, the fire, the ABC tactics of, uh, about, about it. And, and we should deploy um, all of the, the resources we have. And I will, I'm not saying much support, unfortunately, for the Liberian Fire Service in the budget. I think it's unfortunate we will have to put into place and the fire service will have to deploy that every home in the country. That's part of the law. The, the act that created the National Fire Service Agency is clear. It's clearly enshrined into that act that um, every home should have fire extinguisher. And every vehicle, moving vehicle, should also have the same. And, but we don't have that because we've been having some 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 issue about interest on who will do the importation of the fire extinguisher and the issue about that as to how we're going to unlock said contract. That's, that's one of the major things on my mind. I would think that the government and through the legislature will a lot more support to the fire service institution and communities, dwellers and community members should set up this scheme about educating ourselves on to how to protect our homes uh, for the issue of a fire. Another thing on my mind, and I mean comment this, and I may have another thought process about this, uh, this issue about the new police chief uh, intent to, um, to, 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 to change a lot of things into, into the, the street, and that bring about safety also. Um, this process about, uh, the, we will always say, our, our streets in Monrovia, sometimes major boulevards, um, the only street in, in our region, you see car crisscrossing, people using the tail lane and the rest of that. Motorcyclists will come and hit you and in more time they're out. I see what to support the police chief new policy here onto that. I hope that that should be implemented. I was a victim of it recently in Monrovia. The guy ran and just bust my wing and my, my tail light. And he, in more time, and he left. So that's one of the things. I support the police chief on this process. I will hope that uh, they should be very, very much committed in trying to, there should be no uh, sugar darling to support for any individual of half personality. It should be implemented. No body should place a call if the motorcycle is being pounded. No one should place a call from a higher level to have it uh, release and the rest of that implemented. Another situation, if there should be no gas station, uh, those gas stations that are, those misshipped gas stations that are built in other ways, because our zonal law should be implemented, which are year to our municipality law of our country. It is important. If we want to see change, we will have to now begin the process of respecting the rule of law. Uh, we don't have system. We don't respect system. So Mr. Police Director, Mr. IG, rather, I support this process, and I will hope that you implement it. This should not be issue about, oh, it's another thing about uh, living. That's not no poverty thing. You're not putting no one into poverty. Mm -hmm. If you violate the zonal law of our country, it should be implemented. We should enforce that process to the law. So, Ben, I do support that actually on the most serious note, and I hope. Because no, 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 I support it. I'm supporting it. Manasarif came before uh, yeah. Judah Manasari came before. You know, the thing about Lebron leader, and Manasari said this. He said, if the, if this thing is the same Lebron leader coming to do this, our leaders are good at coming to say hey, we pronounce this partisan implementation process. In no time, it drops along the line. But if you implement this issue, he said, no motorbike is allowed, keke is allowed on the Tottenham Boulevard, on our major boulevard, implement that. Let's see it unfold. Other than that, it's a, it's a very good thing. That's what on my mind. Let us have a very wonderful good evening to all of our folks. Thank you. Eric. Yeah, what's, what's on my mind? I'm going to be brief. Uh, you know, uh, President Boyka said, uh, Madam Erin Johnson Salif uh, brought a lot of PowerPoint ministers into the country during her tenure, right? But now we see not only PowerPoint ministers go. But we see people who don't even know how to do PowerPoints, right? So we see the contrast there. You criticize uh, uh, Madam Salif for bringing people that were not competent. And we know the list of people that were brought into the country during Madam Salif's time, I mean, attorney. Competent people. 
uh, our people listed about uh, most of them on, on, on this show. Another thing that's on my mind, the uh, the whole asset recovery uh, is it, it's a complete complete mess, a complete failure. Like if you if you look at countries that we 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 are homogeneous to, like Sierra Leone, you see the asset recovery is with the anti-corruption uh, commission, right? I think they should have put it uh, placed that that asset recovery team with one of the commissions that are responsible for for corruption. And, and, and give it some empowerment. Another thing I see that uh, the, the disintegration, this organization in this government, I'm still hopeful that uh, things will change around, but knowing the uh, person, what I saw, I saw a late one test uh, in a CPP with uh, President Boyka, I don't think it, it's gonna get better because uh, he's this person who just does not have it. Uh, I don't care how people go and say those good things about him. It's not about what you say; it's the the action or the actions of the person that going to prove the worth of that person, not by what you say about the person. And I'm not saying that President Boyka is not a leader, but for today's Liberia and the future of Liberia, I don't think uh, he's the right person to run that country because he's being detected by other people, his surrounding and other people have much influence over him. Uh, he does not have control over, over the leadership. So thank, thanks to everyone. And you all have a, a, a blessed rest of the evening. Oh, quickly, uh, people, they, they, they call in quickly, Lofa. <laughs> they say uh, that rescue loose now. <laughs> they say rescue. <laughs> I got a message for you, our private chat room. Please, please read it, Pew. Okay. okay. Everybody finished with a while on the mind, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, really? Everybody finished? Yeah, we done. Really? I thought Lofi was going to contribute, but I guess Emmerich I... don't want Lofi to charm me tonight. No, right? come in. Come in, Lofi. You said everybody oh. done. Oh, oh no, you did. You're there. Nah, you yes, did. Okay, mm -hmm. But But um, I don't even know if I'm in the chat room again. On a very on a very serious note, um, you know why it is true that we can we can you know share jokes here and there about the reality on ground. I don't think our people who are going through all of these pain and agony at this point, even though they made a decision, they made a conscious decision to put themselves in this calamity. I don't think they find it funny when they have to go to bed at night, um, and have to deal with the heat. I don't think they find it funny when they have to go to bed at night and worry as to whether if they have to call fire service, there will be one to save the life of one Liberian. And here we are listening to a group of people who thought they needed to rescue themselves, either because of their failed careers in the United States, and they felt like they needed to go somewhere that would not gave them that structure where they would be regulated and monitored so they would not have to steal and they can easily get away with how much they steal and, you know, just live flamboyantly. Our people are suffering. This is not a joke. Look, if you are, are to take upon yourself, just simply do us due diligence. Just start to monitor how often you hear of fire incidents and how many people's lives are at risk. We will not make any joke of the current situation in Liberia. The people are dying. The issue of health care, okay? Security in Liberia, something that all of us frowned at the previous government about. We said President Weir refused to engage the people of Liberia. As a matter of fact, we referenced President Weir as the Bobo president. For Christ in heaven's sake. What's the last time we heard from Honorable Boykai? There was an elderly woman who was beaten and killed in Chocolate City. Have you heard Honorable Boykai address that issue? Oh, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. She's not related to him. I, I, I don't think so. She, I mean, maybe her life is just not as important as that of his relative because I remember when President Boykai was elected, he sent his son to seek medical attention for drugs addiction, allegedly, to be politically correct, if that's help. Yeah, he sent his son. 
I'm not hearing the, 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 the force or the fight on drugs and rehabilitation anymore. You know what we're hearing now? We're hearing how can we shield our assets declaration from the people? Those who told us to manage our expectation, the likes of Amara Connor and other people who came and pretended to be men of integrity can no longer disclose to the public their assets. If it was declared, nobody know. If it wasn't, well, it's up to you to go to the soothsayer to find out. We have a bunch of pretenders who are claiming to be in the interest of Liberian. We, the, there's a bill today, okay, that's supposed to be discussed in the Warren Economic Crimes Court. Your lawbreakers are doing everything to stall the process. How does that represent the interest of the people? Honorable Boyka is still sitting supinely, quietly. But for that reason, I will say this to you. If I would not get the vote of my brother, Joma Jala, to serve as a superintendent, in Lofa County, so let it not be. <laughs> people will vote for me. I'm pretty sure people will vote for me to serve I, as the superintendent. I will. Lofa County, right? I will. Will we? But until we can experience some level of, you know, good governance from the Unity Party government, I don't care how many of your people who insulted some of us or call, uh, and call us mean, but then are being rejected and sent right. back to the states, even if they, you don't give them jobs. We still believe that you should govern and govern accordingly. We all, we are not equal professionally, whatever, about age, anywhere. It, it, I don't care how big you are. We are not equally equal. Respect what we bring to the table. Thank you. Okay, on my mind. First of all, uh, Ben, the Minister of Public Works says, I'm going to tell you that I tell all the things he said he will, he will be on closing argument soon. He said, I still hold my panelist titles and can reactivate at any time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's <laughs> so the man said he's still part of the <laughs> Okay, come on back, brother. Daryl, okay. you got to be careful. That's why he come out of this show. <laughs> so, how he coming? Uh, uh, as in, he coming as minister or panelist? He coming as panelist slash minister? <laughs> but, uh, but let me commend this boy. He's in Zweju, Samuka Keita from Smart FM. He's doing oh, yeah, a, sure. What he does is that every every morning after our show, he plays it on, on his show in Zweju. It, oh, wow. Like in, in Sino, in River G. I mean, he he plays the repeat of this show on his show and throughout the South is there. He's doing a great job. And Samuka, uh, as I said, let's continue to just continue to do what you're doing. And I'm telling you, uh, there are great things that will, will come to come to pass. Samuka, you know? thank you. Yeah, and also uh there's a release from, uh, I gotta read it, this for, for, for the release for this. Uh, yes, what they call it? Yeah. The Liberian, how they call it? The Liberian, the, the women, okay, yes. The Liberian women, how they call themselves? Let me read it good, okay. The Liberian Women Forum, LF, LWF, has issued a call for a dampening, the dampening of escalated political rhetoric in the country. As an advoc advocacy group focused on women's welfare, the LFW, Emphasize LWF emphasizes that such tensions do not bode well for ordinary citizens, especially women and children. When politicians engage in infighting, it undermines the well being of the population they are meant to serve. In recent times, Liberia has witnessed height, heightened political discord with citizens expressing dissatisfaction across various sectors. The LWF, in its statement, highlighted the government's responsibility for the safety of all Liberians, regardless of their status. Consequently, the LWF urges the government to take decisive action to prevent the situation from spiraling out of control. Madam Kari Koman Put, president of the Liberian Women Forum, also expressed concern about the prevailing political climate. We of the Liberian Women Forum are concerned with the kind of political tension in the country. If you listen to the radio or watch the internet talk shows, you hear a list of grievances from all walks of life. While all of this is important for our democracy, but the post strongly condemns speech a force of division among Liberians and has the potential to incite violence. The L LWF calls on president, the government of President Boyka to listen to the people and create an inclusive environment while acknowledging that the government is still in its early stages. Uh, that's the president of Liberian Women Forum, Madam Kari uh, 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 uh speaking. So very strong statement from, 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 from the Liberian Women uh, initiative president, Madam Kari Komanpot. But guys, look, and besides that, 
Uh, uh, I, I, we, the issue of the issue of the issue of the central bank. Let me clarify. I was uh, the central bank that continuous stop is not true. The last the fifth fourth legislature passed the the the, the, the pass of uh, resolution to print more money, but because of the election, they wanted to influence the election. They never brought all the new printed bank notes in the country. So, but during the transition, there's a letter. I even got a letter that they sent to President Boyka. Yeah, they sent the him about the the, the, the governor told him about exactly what they were doing. So that the the money will after that the money will that will come in the country after the government takes it. So the money is that the money you saw coming through the container. It wasn't like anything like that's happened with the central bank. I just want to make sure you clarify that. Go ahead, Chairman. No, I want to say uh, I want to thank the, the Liberia Women uh, Liberia Women Forum. It's a, it's a reputable organization. We know we know they have some strong women as a part of that forum. Women from diverse background, business, uh, politics. It's one of those one of those independent uh, uh, and 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 credible organizations that when they speak, you know they're not speaking from a position of biasness, right? Uh, they have also, and I want to thank them for their statement. I thought the statement was very strong, uh, 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 you know, uh, on, on highlighting the fact that, you know, they need a, there needs to be a tempered down of the rhetoric, especially, look, you know, especially from the government side. When you're in power, you should say this to the CDC people all the time. When you're in power, you're the one got everything to lose, right? You, you, it's almost like you're taking a hammer and you're, you're trying to kill an ant with it. <laughs> the EPF director writing statements on Facebook, you know, those are things that are not called for. So I agree with the with the with the women's forum, and I want to thank them for their service to the country. They have done a lot of work, a lot of work they've done. Um, I know they've been involved with. Uh, I, last time they paid, uh, they paid the medical bill for 30, 30, 30 new mothers at JFK. The last time they also went ahead and and they 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 opening business incubators for Liberian women, Liberian business women to improve their lives by providing them small funds to open little businesses. So this is an organization that is reputable, and that's one of the reasons you know I'm not talking about no sub sub corner sub organization when they you know that just looking for attention when they when they speak. These are responsible women who are very strong, independent women, financially capable. They don't depend on government for anything. So when they speak, we get a chance to listen. And we just want to say to them that we will do our part on the closing argument to, to elevate the discussion and to elevate the discourse as we engage, uh, even, even though sometimes it gets a little dicey, but we do our best on this platform to stay responsible and not to inflame the country. But I thought to just uh, back up what you what the state by, the, by you reading that statement, I thought it was a very strong statement. Uh, to you, uh, Harris, I want to say to you uh, again our condolences to your family. I know this weekend yes. you'll, be, you'll be burying your brother, your brother, uh, uh, the David von der Harris, will be buried this uh, weekend in Syria in Maryland. Uh, the, the church will be at uh, the Glen Mount United Methodist Church in Syria Spring. Hopefully, I'm, I may attend it because uh, it all depends on my schedule, but I'm sure I'll be able to make that make that funeral. And then next, and then on the weekend of April 5th. We'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina. Our dear friend and brother, Herman Dubai Jr. Bello, who was a one, one of our regular view of this show. Yes, yes show religiously. We lost Bello on my birthday, Saturday. And uh, so we'll be we'll be laid to rest in Charlotte. And I can I can tell you, uh, he and his mother on the same day. So sad. So we, I, mean, I know Ben, yeah, Ben, you all should get ready for that time. I hope that we can that we say Charlotte will come down because. Mm -hmm. I said, everybody I told the, the librarian people will be God Bella was a great man. He was yeah he was present. So I expect to see uh, uh so uh, Julia you in uh you in uh rally I'll draft I'll draft those shots. Lofa actually Lofa actually I'm coming to rally tomorrow. Okay. I hope I hope you can yeah, join us that weekend. Uh, no, I'm coming to rally tomorrow for uh, I have a I have a contract with the state employees credit union over there. Yeah, hope, 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 hope. Oh really? Which one? Yeah, I have a project. Downtown? Which one is it downtown? The, the, the office they give me. Uh, is oh, it Jones? Is it Jones Street? If it's on Jones Street, they are the state yeah. employee credit rep below my office. I think it's the head of lunch. It's the head office. Well, then let's do lunch because then you come in right in my building because it's red. Uh, Creedmore Creed, Creed Road. Creedmore oh, Road. Oh, Creedmore Road. Okay. Well, that's still not far from it. Let's do lunch then. 
Okay, so I'll call you. Yeah, yeah, I have a. We'll be announcing our presidential candidate for 2029. We'll be announcing him in the next. I'll call you when I get in. Okay. It's just for my day, it's the beginning. I'm just going to do a new progressive MA. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, 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 I was waiting to hear from money by in his crew, but I, I, now in 2029, well, I, I didn't hear from them. I'm aligning with the CDC politically. I'm aligning with the CDC politically. Very clear. Of course, of course. I'm aligning with the CDC. Why are yeah, because you know, I was just saying something. Got the president Gore, he's saying that he won't enjoy he himself young, so he said he won't be the other thing now. Oh, little thing, man. Oh, we was all the former city chairman Malu was always stand. I agree with what stand. Yes, stand. Well, well, you know, I think Malu Malu a very powerful you know, she stand the, the past weekend. Uh -huh. How is it that you guys are you guys are yet to discuss or uh, uh, what's this guy the the, the professor's or uh, uh, resignation? Who? Who? Lester Tenney. Uh, 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 uh Lester Tenney. But why would you discuss it? Yeah, well, we so well. I, I just, I just want to know why we're not discussing it. Listen, people resign from party all the time. We wish that's not well. Discuss, well, 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 to well to the, context in which, the context in which he resigned. Man, and, 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 Lupa has always been a right. maverick. Lupa has always Lupa. been a maverick. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the reason. Look at the reason he stated that I can't even respond to. My man. No, let's say you don't do that even count. For Ooh, me, Lord. for me, for me, I won't disparage Lester. He's been a maverick. He has mm -hmm. his thoughts. He was, he's entitled to his opinion. He's entitled to his feelings. And I respect him for that. I wish him well. <laughs> we wish him well uh, uh, in his new journey. He's still going to be politically active. You know, I know you may meet Lester down the road some, somewhere. You know, I know. Listen, I, my, my politics nowadays <laughs> is to be very. Wait, 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 ben, ben, I saw a picture. That the guy pre said he wasn't going to support that guy. You are, you are, you are is that a new picture though, or is it old? I think that's an old picture. You sure? Eh? I think that's an old picture. I will, I will, I will find out from Koga. He said because he said because the, the, the male said you're talking yeah. about. I will find out from Koga, but I think uh, that's an old I, I, I'm inclined. I'm, I'm a bit wrong. <laughs> that recent picture there of Ben. You think it's recent? Yeah. Very yeah. inconsistent. Yeah. Yeah, no, but because but you are this, you are this. Or are you rock him, and you don't trust well, him. You are blasting Koga on the audio, in fact. So yeah. on the audio, yeah, blasting and Koga. It's, and it's, then he also blasted Yan Twan, but he was standing with Yan. He's a senator. He's a politician. He's a politician. He don't he don't respect me. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. Let's be honest, though. Anybody, anybody, anybody on this platform here, okay, with exception of. Timely, really believe anything uh, uh Prince Johnson says. Let's be honest. That's uh, like out of just honest. I, I, I you say, and then, I'm just asking because it said you hit man, bear you believe oh. what uh, what you say. I mean, I know my position with Prince Johnson, man. I mean, I, mean, I think I'm I think I'm on I'm on too many regular when it comes to Prince Johnson. So. Look, <laughs> I bet you I I can... my bed, don't get me wrong. Is the most erratic in the brand position? Is it my son Ben? Am I son Ben? I'm saying, 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 i and our network will go in full speed. Mm -hmm. That is the sad reality. But you know, but you know my, 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 my advice for the Boca administration, Boca, the people send the ambassador to Boca. The, the woman flew from America, the woman came here. The woman told Boca, say, yeah, I, I love the meeting I have with you with the World Cramps code. But then all of a sudden, they, they, they go to the Senate. They start, they, they play no, the but in all, in, in all fairness, Dominic, in all fairness to the Senate, the Senate say they sent it to judiciary, the Judiciary Committee. They will be back. They're on recess right now, right? Let them come back. 
they will put it back on the floor. Because you know why I believe they will put it on the floor? Let me tell you why I believe they will put it on the floor. Yeah. Because in Prince Johnson take, Prince Johnson said, we're coming to debate it on the floor. That's what he said. You heard him clearly. He said, we're about to debate it on the floor, so I need somebody, because the election is in when? When is the election? April, right? April. April. So the new senator will be will be seated for the new, for the, for the, for the, when they come back from the break. I got to watch, watch, watch those, the senators that will watch each of them because they, they will be they, they, they playing, they will, but you know, again, send, send the budget now coming past now. Think I'm in changing like bro. Right now, everybody been broke. Yeah. Budget, when that budget pass, don't forget it. As the, 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 the whole blast story coming change. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that whole, that whole war crime team will get stored in the Senate. No, 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 but popular no, no. demand we are hearing for, uh, Folks I'm a friend. That's what I'm saying. I'm a friend. I don't think Henry should give us the, the closing statement. Henry, what are the influential people in our Senate? Henry, get off your phone. People say you should close us up. They are angry. They are, they are angry with some international partners, right? So that's yeah. Really when they did when they, you know, I don't want to America when they did not in the US visa. They know uh, they when, they, when, they, when, they, when they get an iron put to the set up, there will definitely be some time they'll get they'll get time and say for something about this. Okay, yeah, we have a duty. And that, the more time you press them, they get frustrated and be adamant, right? Right. So I would think I would think America should also be strategic. If you don't be strategic, that's what most of our country, the country in the region now, the geopolitical problem is, is, is moving on. America will have to be very strategic as to how you engage Liberia because you don't want Liberia to start having a mindset to start going the other way around. So like Pee -wee. is doing in other countries. Let me, let me go back to the Liberian national thing, the Lone Star. It's, we want the president, president Baga first first national, national victory but as a president on a Lone Star. Right, we won. Regional sports. President Baga, your Lone Star, I mean, you're, you're, you're getting the credit. They won. Are they rescue Lone Star? Yeah, what are the final score? 2-0, eh? But they play, they play in Morocco. No, they play in Marrakesh. They play in Djibouti. Marrakesh, Morocco. Oh, really? Okay, no, okay. but that was that was the uh, that was Chubaka Chub 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 no, but the man, the, the yeah, team, yeah, the team didn't perform too well. Guys, guys, yeah, let's not start with the whole thing. We 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 got no, it now. Right now, nobody, nobody this is the first game. This the body, just out uh, whatever the team is. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. Even 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 during real time, time, we want this, to this, 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 Thank you. We want this with the record. This with the record. As I heard right now, everybody's out going party right now. The Lone Star have not won a game since twenty twenty two. You see, but but. The so reality here is this, though, the team that. they are playing, and we go based on records, hey, okay? Yeah. We go based on record. As an athlete, I know we also consider record. So we can't simply say, oh, because right now, right let, now, them come back home, let them come back home and we win. Beat Ghana. We Thank you. Beat we got, then we can say, yeah. yeah. Then yeah. we can say, honorable boycott yeah. presence on the field matters. I because I heard he won a few. He he. He shook oh, the boy's hands. Oh, you on the field today, too? Uh, no, not on the field today, though. I heard he won the practice ground and shook the hands. Well, here's uh, the thing. Here's the thing. They, they requested this is, this a This is a real sports lobby president, not a president where yes. he signed your well, orders. Here's, here's the thing. The Lone Star requested a three three hundred twenty-two thousand dollars for this game, for the both games. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Boaca gave them forty thousand dollars as an initial payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me out. I've been told, I've been told, I didn't come out with this yet because I've been told that the president said that because they were working on the budget, they could not pull forth the full $322,000. However, they will get the rest of that money this week. Wow. So we're waiting now for Lone Star to return to Liberia, especially after this win, for them to get the money because they said if Lone Star qualified, each of the boys will get $5,500. You see why I told you? My uncle is not an ordinary person. Support this man and you'll not regret it. I want to no, I can never, I can never support I want Nigeria, Ghana, I can support. Lutana, with the best. No, but you, we need more professional players. Oh, to my lane. We, I don't right. talk to Lutana. 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 You're, 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 you're not, 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 yeah, man. You're leaving me away. Yeah, you are leaving me away. 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 you are 
Oh, that's an Harry Boy school before. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I think there's all the time we have for you here on the program, the closing argument. It has been very, very much fascinating, educative, and informative. Let me say many thanks to the team there, Hot FM 107.9, for reading this program. And the team there, Truth FM 96.1 in Nima County, Sakopee, for also reading this program. And all affiliate radio stations. Let me say many thanks to the technical department here at the Renaissance Communication Incorporated for also putting hands together to make sure that this job is well done. For the OMBI team, my name is Henry Jada. Do have a set of pleasant, pleasant, a good night.